Or would just beat me over and over again. <laughs> I think that's where I learned how good the Fox's up air is. All right, looks like we are getting ready to go. Here we go. This is exciting. First match of the day. Woo! Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario Samus, um, seven stocks. This is going to be, I think it's going to be an interesting matchup. Um, we talk about, as you said earlier, the special moves and the forward airs are kind of some of the more commonly used approaches for the CPUs. Dr. Mario's forward air is incredibly strong and his up B can kill. Yeah. She has an issue there where her forward air doesn't really kill. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> So these, are, these are some aggressive computers. They're yeah, really and, it. Samus, and Samus will have a good uh, ability to survive because the up yeah, computers aren't going to edge guard the way we might edge guard, right? They're not going to be patient with timing their. No, Doctor Mario is throwing. Wow. The second time in a row, he's up you off stage from this side of the stage. This Doc means if the CPUs are going to keep behaving this way, this is going to be a very <laughs> interesting tournament because it might not even come down to. The, the CPUs being the stronger hitters, like we, we assume like Ness has got the good throws, it's going to come down to do they SD themselves? Yeah, and that, I mean, that was huge. I, I ran a lot of tests because <laughs> I wanted to, you know, make sure this would be reasonable. And I, I didn't come across anything like that. There's just back-to-back -back horrible SDs. <laughs> this is Dr. Dr. Mario, Mario he's, he's out playing Samus. He's playing oh, much yeah. better than Samus, but he's yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he another stock there. And he's looking, I mean, up, up bees aside, like the bad up bees aside, stuck in the ledge, he's done a lot more damage to Samus than Samus. Yeah, I mean, Dr. Mario has taken three stocks this match. <laughs> yeah. He just needs to stop beating himself. So that's another issue with the CPUs we're seeing here. So Samus is doing all these down airs, which are great for racking up damage. And getting the component like the CPU to kill percent, but Samus isn't like back airing off of it. Right, and that's the CPUs don't. They don't. Yeah, they don't like. It. Wow, I don't know how that grab connected. Um, also, something I did not mention uh, until right now is that there is a ten-minute match timer for each game. Uh, once it reaches ten minutes, once those ten minutes are up, we go into sudden death overtime, and the next stock wins. So it could be uh, some exciting moments here. We've got four stocks on Dr. Mario, five stocks on, on Samus. Samus did get her own kill there, and there's a back here probably. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Samus has two of her own kills. Dr. Mario, two on himself. Uh, they're not grabbing it, really. Like, Dr. Mario isn't grabbing. Samus got that grab off, which you would expect Dr. Mario to be more of a grab. Oh, he almost did it again. <laughs> I think he's... No, he did it again. <laughs> Kill move being a strong move. Oh <laughs> man, Dr. Mario fans are in shambles right now. A few brackets about to be busted, I think, here. Because a lot of people, I think, in Dr. So we don't have any Dr. Mario winners, I don't think, but we have a lot of Dr. Mario's going to like the Final Four, the, the championship match, and Dr. Mario about to get bounced in game one. So we got like a roll B kind of setup going here both characters just using their neutral bees rolling yeah these up bees just i don't that's that's just it's so unfortunate where did he oh he didn't afford it he plot jump up here do you see that <laughs> that's a plot jump up here with dr mario yeah they man oh and he got the weak up b there a strong one would have done it it's crazy to think about it but Dr. Mario can make it back from this. Oh, no, he definitely can. He, I mean, if he gets a kill here, he's only down two stocks. He's going to up B, though, and kill himself. I know it's going to happen. <laughs> he's down two stocks, but if he keep peppering Samus with everything he's doing, he's going to get a kill off. Yeah, but so one advantage that the Samus CPU has is that they, they rarely SD. Yeah, so Dr. Mario got a quick 50% there, right? Didn't take much. I mean, he just did that air to the face, but did a quick 50%. He's got Samus in potential kill kill position. He gets another hit on there, jumping right into the down smash. So that's the thing CPUs love. They love down smash on platform. Forward air? Not going to kill yet. It's a strong forward air. It's the one thing we were talking about earlier, you know, Mario versus Dr. Mario and CPUs. Dr. Mario's forward air is a very, very strong forward air. But he 
SDs again. That's going to be his demise. And I thought I was good at SD, but this Dr. Mario is putting me to shame. I, I've, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I was good at SD, but this Dr. Mario, he's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. I got to learn. <laughs> and we do. Sam is going to be taking game one. There is a bracket with Sam is winning the whole thing. Maybe someone knows something we didn't know. It's yeah. I, I think Sam is is a decent a decent pick to come out of uh, the base okay. conference. But winning the whole thing is that's bold. But hey, once you get yeah, to so the finals, anything can happen. This is madness. This is our market. This, this is, is it. This is madness. There it goes. Samus wins it. Three stocks on Dr. Mario. Uh, the the interesting point here is Samus is Samus is very hard to kill in a way. Like heavy. Great recovery, doesn't really SD, but Samus isn't great for getting its own kills. I mean, can a rack of damage? Show us the match stats. Do you have a controller in to do that? Oh yeah, I could do that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so look at that. They pretty much did the same amount of damage to each other. Interesting, yeah, it's very interesting. Considering Dr. Mario SD a ton of times at like fifteen percent, twenty percent. Dr. Mario's early his early stock SDs is surprising to see Samus still getting that much damage. Like, her charge shot's going to be her biggest kill move as a CPU. She's not going to really do great back airs. She's not going to... Well, I mean, maybe you get a forward smash off here and there. But back air is typically Samus' best kill option or a spike, which spikes don't really happen off stage because CPU's on edge guard. So we're looking at whether the CPU's shield against a charge shot. Maybe the behavior with the improved AI prevents them from shielding as much. And so you just get charge shots in the face. And Samus might, Samus might run away with this. Yeah, that was, uh, man, that was a, I mean, the result wasn't that crazy, but the way it happened is very yeah, unexpected. Most, most people would have expected <laughs> Dr. Mario to take that match. Yeah, I, probably, but not, not like overwhelmingly. Um, he looked like the stronger computer. I, I, I mean, you saw in the stats, he did more damage. Than yeah. Samus, but, but Samus. You know, it was, what was it? Three SDs? Would that be four SDs? He yeah, yeah. Uh, more. He wasn't on his A game today. No, it's just you know, who knows. You maybe maybe uh, maybe Doctor Mario was was up late with uh, Jimmy Joe. <laughs> it's you know, it's, you know best of one single elimination. Like if they don't show up at their best, then that's that's gonna be it. Yeah, that that's true, and and that's uh just the nature of events like this, and that's one thing that makes them exciting is uh you know that's. It's it's once you're there, it's just one game. Anyone can win it. Um, you, there's no recovering. There's no uh, coming back in losers. There's no reverse three O's. It's just you got to win that one game. Yeah. Chaos. There's a chaos element to this whole CPU bracket, which I think makes it as it's anybody's game. I mean, this this is anyone's bracket. When when we go to a tournament and there's boom and number two is Josh Brody, you know who's going to be winning that tournament. But with this. <laughs> Everybody's game. <laughs> this is this is a wide open tournament, and with Dr. Mario getting trounced by Samus like that, I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen next. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I don't I don't think anyone picked Doc to go to win the the event. No, but they had a lot of Docs in the final four. Or like yeah, that. yeah, a lot of Docs in the final four, definitely. Like, I guess most right. people had Doc winning that match. Yeah, uh, probably. Like. Press, for example, Preston, he's got Doc in his final four, right? And that's, meanwhile, the bracket's not toast yet, but that's a big hit on some of those later round points. Um, I mean, Beef's got Doc in round four. We've got Hammerheart's got Doc in final four. Uh, Dogs has got Doc in final four. I mean, Doc, a lot of people put pulling Doc to go pretty far here. And one guy's got Samus going all the way, but for the most part, most of these people, they, their brackets lost a lot of points right there. They're not done, but they lost a lot of points. <laughs> yeah it's uh, uh it's it's pretty crazy man i was just about to say something now i i forgot oh well uh so our next match is um pikachu versus young link and um these are both these are both characters that a lot of people have in their final fours but they're play each other in the play-in game yeah so it's <laughs> So if we're gonna if we're gonna talk about um, just the Samus winning, uh, 
Brian Marvin's got Samus as the winner. He's the only bracket out there with Samus. Brian! Brian is um is one of the guys over at MAP Technologies. Oh, very cool, very cool, very cool. Yeah, so he's going to be excited right now because he's the only guy picked Samus to win it, and Samus just looked like a world beater right there. I mean, three slides, like Hey, that. if you can just convince your opponent to SD over and over, you don't need to hit them. Man, that was, <laughs> that was a surprise. That was definitely a surprise. So uh, I guess we can move on to the next round. Yeah, we have uh, our Pikachu and our young Link. Oh, no, what? Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at them. So menacing. Oh, it's fun fact here. There's only one Pico winning the whole... There's only one bracket. Yeah. Winning. Yep, only one. A lot of people just... They're either not fans of Pico or they just don't think it's going to be a good CPU. So, well, here, here's the thing. With, with CPUs, right? Like, a really good trait they could have is to to survive a long time. And Pikachu is pretty light. And the Pikachu computer doesn't know how to use Pikachu's up B. They, yeah, they just do like the same like one or two angles. Is it, is it get the max distance out of it? Taking advantage of back throw. Like that's another thing we got to think about with computers. Are they taking advantage of back throw? He's doing a lot of thunders. Yeah, the cause CPUs they do a lot of specials, whether or not they're good. <laughs> and yes, I, don't, uh, I don't think the CPU is gonna be able to really take out. Oh, oh wow, smash! He takes the first stock. I really was gonna say here, Young Link. I think recovery is gonna be hard for Pikachu to edge guard. But he just got the forward smash there. They take the trade. CPU takes the first stock. CPU Pika. Yeah, these uh, these tech chases with uh, Thunder Shock are probably not going to help Pika out too much. Yeah, the question is: is is the young Link going to use like all right, Jimmy? Powerful down airs, uh, things like that. Oh my God! Turn off Jimmy Joe's phone before I go crazy. <laughs> That's Jimmy Joe getting called. Yeah, he's got. <laughs> Back to even stocks here, but Pikachu is <laughs> still in the lead. Oh, he just oh. He actually went for up tilt back air, but just missed. So back to even stocks. Percent lead for Pikachu. Back air is not going to kill Young Link yet. Oh, dude, Dave, you're... <laughs> Dave, Dave, stop watching the stream. Watch Discord. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 20 seconds behind. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the up B is just uh, something that makes uh, the Young Link CPU so good, since they use specials so much. And it's such a huge move that can rack on a lot of damage. It doesn't kill a ton. I mean, at high percent, it'll kill over the top, but to the side, if, you know, um, he's racked up enough damage and the computer's still stuck in it. I got a question, though. Do, do the advanced DI CPUs DI well? If so, that's going to make it hard for Young Link to really get up they... So they do some DI really well. Like the, um, you know, when you're standing at the ledge and you DI off of the stage, like if someone forward smashes you, they do that every time. Um, so some things they do well, but as far as like DIing through a, you know, a, a drill attack or something, I don't think. Pika takes a two stock lead there. Just looking a little closer. Getting a lot, of trades. Getting a lot. Pika's getting a lot of trades on Young Link's. Uh... Up B with either forward smash, down air. It's got a lot of trades, and that's really playing big for Pikachu here. Young Link almost spamming the, the up big so up much. smash. Gets it, yeah, gets a stock there. Only down by one. Low percent on Young Link. We'll see if they. Yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking good for Young Link. Young Link Which, up smash. Is I feel like Young Link's a character. People had in their brackets going pretty far. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people also don't realize how good Young Link's up smash is. <laughs> it's a really good move. But the thing is, is Young Link's not using it. No. Like, Young Link's not like kills here. Well, that's the thing. It's so, spamming. like, people, the CPUs spam specials and smash attacks, right? Well, Young Link's smash attacks don't have a lot of range to them. Like, Pikachu yeah. has at least forward smash that, that goes pretty far. <laughs> But uh, Young Link uh, definitely doesn't have a whole lot of range aside from up B. And the projectiles, which the, CPUs are not good at using. The, CPU, the CPUs also don't have like any patience, right? So, oh, forward tail going to kill and Pika? No, not yet. Just so, a taunt. One of the, yeah, one of the things that we see um, the CPUs not doing is they're not like seeing a miss and then waiting. So Pika choose on a bunch of forward smashes that didn't hit. 
but then Younglin just jumped into them. Yeah. And, and, and that's obviously, as a real players, it's a rare occurrence to see. But with the CPUs, it's like characters have long lasting strong moves. Pikachu's um, forward smash being one of those. There's an up B. Up B gets a kill for Younglin. Uh, that forward smash kind of lingering out there and still kind of keeping its strength is going to be a big problem for a lot of characters going forward. And up a smash trade, Pikachu takes it, keeps the two stock lead. I don't see how like making a comeback here. I mean, it's just like Pika's been in control. Like right there, there's another example of that forward smash. Just start the forward smash, CPU runs right into it. And this is this is where, you know, a lot of players learned how to use Pika F Smash. They're like, oh, I can just throw it out and people will run into it. Lasts a lot longer than than CPUs at least are prepared for, especially newer players. But, but um yeah, just... Pikachu racking up damage on Young Link here. It's not even close. Young yeah, Link, Young. Like, Young Link really needs. Oh, a back throw! Back throw, back throw is Actually, huge. Back throw. We were talking, I talked about this earlier. I don't think the CPUs are going to back throw much, but. They rarely do. Not. And then, of uh, course, Young Link does also, just to prove us wrong. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah, Peek is just smothering Young Link. There's like no way to come back on this. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this is rough for Young Link. Big forward smash, but I mean, bringing him within two, but it is, it's looking rough. Yeah, we're gonna have. I mean, talk, we talked. I was talking about Beef earlier. How I talked to Mario in his final four and like why he lost a bunch of points. Beef is Young Link winning the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> beef, Beef is in shambles. Yeah, Beef's got to be <laughs> rolling over right now, worrying about what's gonna happen to his bracket. I mean, it's toast. It's basically Yo, toast. that was actually like. That was almost hey, 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 a really good combo. It's about Brian Marvin, who had, uh, you know, Samus beating Doc and winning the whole thing. He also has Pika beating Yuma. So, oh, man. This guy this knows guy, some stuff. He knows, sleep, he knows something we don't know. Maybe he, maybe he ran test runs on this all before he put out his bracket and figured it out. That, it that's... Him? It's hard. It, it, it's weird because we're not used to seeing uh, it in widescreen. So sometimes they're they're a lot closer to the uh, blast in than we realize. Oh, true, true, true. This is I think that's it I though. Takes it with a three stock. So you got back to back three stocks. Samus over Doc, Pika over Young Link. Vanilla over Remix both Vanilla times. Over yeah. Remix. <laughs> yeah, very good comment. Yeah, very good observation. Vanilla over Remix. These characters, they're overrated, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Wow, that's... Yeah, I mean, you saw Young Link kind of coming alive towards the end there. It was a lot more even in those last couple of stocks, but that early deficit was just way too much to come back from. We yeah. Also, Did we, we have saw... any SDs? Uh, no. I, by this one, no. Because a lot nice. of these guys, up -y isn't, if their up -y is their offense, their up -y isn't an offensive attack that risks them dying. Like, young, so... Link young Link can always up -y off the, lean off to the stage and then peel back to the stage. Dr. So... Mario, so one one way that a lot of CPUs um, end up SDing is they they pineapple themselves. They they get caught on the underside of the stage. Oh, true, very true. Um, and it just it, it hasn't happened yet. But that um that that was a common a common SD uh, when we were doing matches last week and, and even before that. I definitely wouldn't say that was like as unexpected a result as Samus and Dr. Mario. No. Like doesn't have a lot of those really great traits that you want to see out of a CPU. Uh, like a lot of his moves have pretty low reach or duration. He doesn't have a lot to net easy kills with, like a great down smash or up B or something like that. You know, his up B will get kills, but even on Pikachu, it, it was pretty late and he kept using it so much, so it was always stale as well. And that kind of makes it harder to score kills with that. Yeah. When you see like a human using Young Link, a lot of the time they're going for like more difficult stuff like comboing into his spike is uh is when you see a lot. Yeah. The CPU is just not gonna do that. The CPU is like an aerial mad rush, just nothing but up bees in the air. But it's not it's not good enough. And yeah, the the range is definitely something um definitely a problem. And that's one of the reasons I didn't have Young Link as highly rated as some other people. Just as a CPU, like he, he definitely suffers from that with yeah. how, how much CPU spam smash attacks. Like like Shurs was saying, having a move that's strong with a long duration, uh, like Pika's forward smash or his like down B as well, uh, is just really valuable because they have no caution. They'll just jump into things. 
I think range is really important. I don't think disjoint is tremendously important. I think range is, though. Just having those like long-reaching attacks that stay out there for a while. Uh, you know, you want your opponent to jump into it. I was surprised to see how, just quite how aerial the young Link computer played and how many up -bees it used. Oh, yeah. Wasn't necessarily expecting that. And uh, just a reminder to everybody uh, that if you go to that thunder.gg link, you can bet on all these matches. Uh, currently, it looks like, yeah, we have Jigglypuff and Lucas up there. 60% of people think that Lucas is going to win. Um, I think this is a, a, a battle of the bads for sure. Uh, I don't <laughs> think either of these CPUs are uh, especially strong. Well, Lucas is, he's got some similarities to Ness, and the Ness computer is pretty good, but it's, I don't know um, we'll the, see Lucas I think, perform good as well. I think the thing that will ultimately destroy Lucas is how often he uses neutral B in the air, and uh, when that pushes him off stage, it usually ends in a stock. Uh, a, a little tidbit uh, on the programming side. A lot of these original characters have some like code that drives them and lets them know how to do their unique, like their unique stuff. And the remix CPUs don't really have that. Um, Lucas has it to know how to do like his up B, but in general, they're kind of just behaving more generically, and they don't have like character-specific ideas that some of the vanilla CPUs might have. Interesting. Yeah, I just, I, I noticed that Lucas likes to use neutral B in the air, and if he's anywhere near the edge of the stage, it'll push him off stage. And um, Lucas and Ness have a really hard time recovering from low, like the low angles below the stage. Right. Like they yeah, just, I... they won't, they won't hit like a, like a really um, sharp angle to go up. I think in general, like the computers are pretty good, but like the vanilla CPUs, they have at least like a little slight idea of what their special moves do, uh, for example. Whereas the remix characters, they really don't know what their moves do at all. And they're just, you know, using them and hoping. It can work <laughs> out, though. If As the a, moves are good, in a way, it can work out well. In a way, it's like when a human picks up a new remix character. Yeah. You don't really, you don't know all the little nuances and intricacies about it. And you know, it, it can't, it isn't always a bad thing. I can give one example. I said earlier that Pikachu is pretty bad at using his up B because he'll always go like up and horizontally and he doesn't go very far with it. If you fight against a computer using like E Pika or J Pika, they don't have that. They just aim towards the center of the stage and they do better up B angles and they go further and they mix up their angle. Interesting. So in some cases that, that undefined uh, logic can actually just be better than what they originally programmed in for their computers. So it's not necessarily a detriment. Interesting. Well, uh, let's see. We do have uh, our next match ready. We've got our Jigglypuff and our Lucas. They are ready to go. They uh, they're back from their smoke break. They're in <laughs> so their they're in their chairs. They have their water. So Frey actually just blew my mind with that beast. Where um, there's actually code in the vanilla characters that give them awareness of their moveset in a way that they know how to like, like a style of play and never kind of figured the CPUs had that, which that kind of probably leads to why we are keep seeing the vanillas succeed here versus the remakes. Um, because one character is aware of how it plays and operates, the other one isn't. Yeah, I think so, that Dr. Mario was a little bit of an anomaly with those SDs. Very true, probably, very true. But like, he probably doesn't even consider, considering his coding, he doesn't consider is up me being a suicide because he doesn't think that yeah so his, his, his programming is probably right now based oh, on just that power, was... a powerful up and not the recovery so that here. that angle you saw lucas hit on his recovery that's basically the only angle he will ever hit that diagonal yeah that diagonal which when when off stage and recovering if the opponent is on the side platform it'll like always hit them yeah so it ends up being pretty good against other cpus but again if he's if he's low if he's trying to recover from low he's not going to make it lucas tied it back up uh it was even but now puff's kind of on just a shooting spree away like just crushing do like lucas put up a 90 percent damage off to zero lucas come back a little bit here the forward throw not going to do much 
I want to see more up smashes from this Lucas. Uh, Lucas does have the strongest ups. There you go. There's that angle. Always going to be the same angle. That's the angle. That, and that, that's still the platform. That's going to hit every time. But uh, Lucas does have the strongest up smash in the game. So, and he gets, uh, he has, he, gets some, he has some invincibility frames as well. So it's a, it's a great move. Through the, oh, Lucas, look at that. Racking up damage. Oh, like no. All right. He made it back. That's like exactly how you see Ness using the up air too. So you're, you, he's already done that, that neutral beat, push him off stage, but he had his jump both times. So yeah. Back there. Oh, is he going to get caught? No. <laughs> do CPUs mash out of Sing? I don't know. Uh, they probably do, yeah. Oh, he did not get the stage DI there. Surprising to see from Lucas. I know, back throw! <laughs> A back throw! Raichu, are you seeing this? Our, 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 our Brian Marvin with the perfect bracket, the Samus and the Pika winning, also has the Lucas winning. Dude, so, Brian. He's a prophet here. He knows it's going to happen over here. And the, oh. the Charm Come City on. champ. Started dude, up here again. Lucas, Lucas definitely. Wow, dude. Oh, what a combo from Lucas. <laughs> he did him too. He carried him over, downed him to the platform, followed off the tech with a with the, the fair to take the stock. Tell you what, this this Lucas is unrecognizable from the Lucas we saw two weeks ago. He must have been in the in the room studying the tape, working on it. Like he's been grinding because he did not look this good the last time I saw him. Yeah, uh, so I always gave Jim Money a lot of trouble, I guess, with Lucas. I was like, man, this guy really made a bad character. But <laughs> I don't know words now. <laughs> Luke, Lucas is just I, he's very hard to use. But he has he has a lot of strong moves. Um and he does suffer from a bad recovery like Ness does. Not being able to, out of jumps. That was a puff out of jumps there that time. Yeah. Like they just died for the yeah. A CPU puff will not pound to recover. So those uh what we what we normally think of as a great recovery uh is greatly diminished. Oh, cl the clank there, or the up smash. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, there you go. Too low. That's that's Pumped. exactly what I was worried about. Although this damage, big damage here. Second stock. Was our second last stock for, for Puff? Depending on the move Lucas gets off. Up smash to a roll. To oh, and with the clank again. Puff's best that's bet. Oh, man. Puff's best bet is to play near the edge of the stage and hope that Lucas uh, neutral bees off stage. <laughs> yeah. Someone get on the mic and tell Puff what to do. <laughs> oh, what an extended ground battle right now. They're just going out of down Oh, there. man, he had the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah just pounding. So again, we're never, one thing I think we're never going to see from a Puff here, right? What? Uh, what? <laughs> we're not going to see a, a rest. Like, Puff will do something. Right. Stock. But Puff's not gonna have a rest, would it? Dude, this CPU Lucas Puff is, is uh, back. yeah, it's trying to camp top plat, but Puff is just getting through with everything. The up airs and the sings. Puff no jumps punish. though. Lucas doesn't punish. Doesn't take the edge guard punish. But Lucas that's gonna down smashes the wrong way. Puff capitalizes with the four oh, smash, no. but then a big up smash. Hey, Puff was down two stocks. Puff's down one clean. Puffy. Stock had tied there for a little bit on the stock count. This is a chance for Puff to come back. It's really not an over. This game is not over. Lucas out of jumps, gonna if, get to the top plat. And if Puff can, if Puff can pull this off, then uh, the next opponent is uh, Ness. So it's really just another Lucas. Uh, another Lucas that's a little bit more aware of what it's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, JJ's phone. Looks like Lucas is in position to clean this game. Yeah. That, I don't think I don't think Puff has what it takes to take the stock here and another stock without getting one decent strong. Oh, and case. I think that that's it, and that is it. Or... That upgrade cleaned it up. Yeah, so, so like, like I said Brian before Marvin, the game. Brian Marvin the Prophet also saw <laughs> yeah. Lucas Puff. He's got a perfect bracket bracket here still. Uh <laughs> There really were no Lucas picks, so nobody's bragging I'm, busted by this. I'm really interested to see Ness and Lucas fight. Yeah, me too. 
but yeah, like I said before it started, uh, Lucas is a lot like Ness. Um, and we know Ness is like a good recipe for a CPU. We know he's one of the better CPUs. Uh, at least in vanilla. Like, Dave, I think you used to have that like automated CPU fighting. Twitch oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Salty bets. Yeah, yeah. Salty streams. Salty streams. Salty streams. I remember uh, Ness yeah. being one of the better ones. Yeah. Ness, Ness won a lot of those. I have actually all that data saved somewhere. Like, also, when Salty streams are running and it was running repeatedly for what months at a time, uh, all of this CPU result data is actually saved. So, it, with Log It All, that was how it could automate uh, result processing. Um, and it doesn't just count up. Um, so, I worked with. Oh, I can't remember the modder's name. It was some modder, long time modder, a long time ago. Medow. Medow, Medow, that's who I worked with. And he got me um, uh, basically a little script that would help read from the emulator to get a lot of the match data, which I think some of that led into what we see a lot with the, the remix team having added. I mean, I don't know. I'm not part of the remix development team. Um, but I, I imagine these are a lot of the same kind of uh, address reads to get that kind of end of match statistics we see where it's like how much damage is dealt. Dude, Dave, you got you got to put that phone in another room or something. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, shout outs to Matto, man. I wouldn't have started modding if it weren't for the documentation that he had on Smashboards. That was early days for me. It's just sifting through his posts and learning stuff like that. Yeah, but, but now anyway, but Dow had it reading all of the match data, so it kept track of who, who killed, how many kills they got, how many STs they had, uh, oh, how much damage they dealt, how much damage they received, a lot of the stuff we see on that stat screen now. And so I had it, basically it would log all that data, it would put it into some massive notepad repository, uh, just because it was simple code, threw it all into that. And so I have somewhere saved, I mean, we're talking millions of CPU data, uh, match results just randomized and, and, and launched in there. Um, but Ness is typically a pretty good CPU. Uh, it's got good moves, it's got a fast move set, and it's got a strong attacks. Uh, he knows how to combo for some reason, too. Like like you saw Lucas doing there with the up airs. Oh, yeah. Very good juggler. It has auto canceling. So Ness is a character where up air and down air auto cancel. Uh, right. And then the auto cancels, the auto cancel frames and the other moves are decent. Are decent. But that, that's something worth mentioning here, and I did want to get into it, this with improved AI. Um, exactly what that's doing is it it makes all of the CPUs, uh, Z cancel their moves, ninety percent of the time. Oh wow! It makes them tech randomly, uh, thirty percent for the tech options and ten percent chance of missing a tech, and it makes them attempt to recover with up B multiple times. So that and, actually hurts Ness in a way because Ness was a CPU yeah. hand that already had auto canceling, so Z canceling wasn't a necessary function for Ness's success as the CPU. Yeah. Now we have three characters Z canceling. That kind of And that's what and that's what I've been saying, how like before this, I always saw Ness as one of the best CPUs, but I think advanced AI, even the playing field. Um and so Ness doesn't appear as strong as he did before, and that must be it. So advanced AI doesn't do anything else just for transparency. It's just those three things. Z canceling, random tacking, and trying to up B multiple times. If anyone's ever wondered, I'm sure that information is out there somewhere, but probably not easy to find. I'm sure there's a lot of misinformation about it, so it's good to have it cleared up. Yeah, it is It is a pretty general thing, advanced AI. You don't really know. Oh, man. So next up, we do have Falco and Bowser. Falco, who... I I think is probably the lowest seed in this tournament. I don't see any hope for Falco as I, a CPU. I see no hope for Falco. One person picked Falco to go all the way. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but um, this is uh, just a brutal, brutal matchup. Yeah, you know, in a world where CPUs used back air more, or a world where CPUs, you know, knew how to spike. Or a world where Falco knew how to recover with his neutral B when he was a CPU, and that and Maybe. that's that's the biggest part is the is the recovery and like the accidental SDs with neutral B. Yeah, that that's um that that's the the big issues it, that it's I like see. Like I said earlier, he he doesn't know what his neutral B does, right? And so it's it ends up just sort of being a result of how effectively the AI uses that without really being told how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But and, you know, uh, Fal he has a good forward smash. I'll say that for a computer. Yes, like it's, it's and, a the, good and the downs, the down smash is good. 
Yeah, I'll, the, I'd expect to see a lot of kills with those, if anything. The up smash is fine. Um, yeah, he might combo off of it. And he actually might get some KOs with up B. Just, you know. Yeah, that's pretty strong. But uh, I, I just, I don't see... Uh, I don't see Falco winning this unless there's uh, yeah. unless there's like a Dr. Mario level of SDs with Bowser. In in normal play, like you see Falco get a, lo a lot of his kills with back air or down air, and I don't expect to see a computer get kills with either of those. Yeah. What What do you think about the forward smash though? I mean, yeah, it's was, good. That's that was, what Frey was yeah. just saying. Yeah. Yeah, like I think I think even though he doesn't necessarily get those primary kill options out, his secondary kill options are not bad. Yeah, uh, in a CPU environment especially, it's definitely a good forward smash. And and I think that might help him a little bit. The problem is I think he's just going against Bowser. I, I just yeah. think that's a problem, right? Bowser's fair, outstanding. Bowser's movesets, fast. Bowser is hard to kill. They're not going to edge guard Bowser very well. Yeah, he's going to keep recovering too because his up B just goes absurdly far. Yeah, he's so heavy. He's going to live yeah. forever. If Falco wasn't in the villain division, I think he could do a lot more damage. But he's just in a tough division. I mean, this villain division, this has got to be the yeah. tough the, division we got. We got the, the, yeah, the, 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 this whole stacked. conference is stacked. And then this division is also stacked. It's, it's rough. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, so if, we're, if we're just talking about user picks, right, like out of the submissions on brackets, three of the top four uh, cho chosen characters to win the whole thing are out of this division. Ganon, yeah. Dark Sam is Bowser. Yep. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a popular division. The uh, only one that breaks the top four is Fox. So we got we, Fox is third, third most. We got Ganon is the majority. Dark Sam is number two. Fox number three. And Bowser number four. Uh, Fox coming out of. Uh, that second group, the, the the kind of the new kids on the block division. Yeah, and Fox is a pretty solid CPU. He's a great CPU. His only foil is himself SDing with those up Bs. That's probably the worst trait. Do you think he'll do that much, though, in Remix? Because I think, um, from what I understand, and you would obviously have a better, uh, you'd be able to answer the question better, the advanced AI leads them to do more of like what they think is a stronger move. So instead of up being randomly, he's going to probably just do random up smashes or forward smashes. Which no, are no. The advanced AI doesn't do any of that. Like I was saying a few minutes ago, it just makes them tech randomly. It makes them Z cancel, and it makes them attempt to recover multiple yeah, times. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't change. It doesn't, it doesn't change that at all. With, with it doesn't it. change anything else than what I said. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Did, he's was, he's still going to do those I, dumb up I was dealing with Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Joe's phone, so yeah. Fair enough, yeah. All right, well, it, it's really, it's really just going to come down to luck for Fox. If if his opponent maneuvers into that position, it's sort of like under the side platform I near see. the edge of the stage, uh, and Fox is like closer to center stage. He will just up B and go towards you and die. All right, let's see. You, Any you last get... minute bets in? No, it is still overwhelmingly in favor of yeah. Falco Bowser. Uh, looks like the players are ready. So we'll we'll go to them. We got Falco versus Bowser, the last uh, play-in match before we get to our Sweet Sixteen. Should be a good one. And we get the Hyrule Dreamland setup. Very good. Falco coming off strong start though. Very strong start here. Bowser CPU uh, uses down B a decent amount, which uh, can be risky because uh, you lose your jump if you get hit out of it. Ooh, Bowser's a big pick for a lot of people. I mean, Just downer and Falco. I know, it's so hard to watch. <laughs> down tilt. Falco, it's very Falco strong. It's just overwhelming Bowser right now. It's like Bowser's not even attacking. Because he's on the same CPU levels, they're both level 9. <laughs> Bowser's not even doing attacks. I mean, there goes a the couple up tilts, but falling uh, up air much weaker yeah. than Fox's. But yeah, this is sort of as well what I was talking about. Like you see, Bowser's already at 180, and a lot of the moves that Falco seems to like using just aren't going to kill him. That's like a huge that advantage he has. And look, one combo. That was a great little combo from Bowser. Dash it to platform tech back air almost took out, and then that's going to kill. Him. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Bowser goes from 181 damage with Falco having like 20 to then taking the stock without losing his up. Bowser, the absolute unit. <laughs> up air is still too weak. That's just yeah, crazy. See, he likes that up air a lot. It's like similar to Fox. But yeah. It's just never going to kill Bowser. And even Forder just barely takes him out at 214. Yeah, Falco had a strong start on damage, but Falco doesn't know how to kill. He doesn't know how to finish. 
Yeah, it's just, like, CPUs just, they don't really back air. Um, one of his best bets is going to be forward smash, down smash, or landing an up B. Because, yeah, I don't see him uh, down airing off stage. But here we go. The next stock here, Valor took it first, but Falco racked up a ton of damage. You look at it and you're like, man, Falco's got a strong advantage here. Falco's not going to kill Bowser, and Bowser's probably going to kill Falco first. What are you doing, Bowser? Oh, no. He's going to No it. way. No question, Bowser. He knows what he's doing. This that is, is insane. Guy. He's just getting some damage. You're recovering with Bowser there? That was insane. Facing the wrong way, he does the. Up there by Falco. Was that a running plat drop up air, or did he like, just? Was that a runoff? I think it just ran off the yeah, air. yeah, yeah. If it if it had been a runoff down air, it would have uh, taken the stock. That's close. Ugh, Ooh, poor Falco. He just doesn't know how to deal with Bowser's weight. Finally, at two twenty, Falco has a lead. This would be a massive upset. Yeah, definitely. There's only one bracket with Falco winning it, so... Wow. <laughs> we're, we're oh, no, but he's... Oh, he, had, he does have a jump. Okay. These, I mean, you know, anything could have happened the last two weeks. All, all these guys could have been training, and who, who, knows what, uh, who knows what new tricks they learned. We have no clue what their locker rooms are like. We know what the Ooh, bracket that's going to kill. Down me kill. Okay, so but a lot of damage on Bowser. I mean, sucks with the tide, a lot of damage on Bowser. Wait, Jared picked Falco to win this. It's a lot of damage, but he's going to need like another 100 damage based on what we've seen so far. Yeah, unless he lands like a rogue down air that, with a good angle or a forward, or smash. forward smash. Wow. Falco with a stock lead. Up to up smash. A little two, two hit combo by Bowser. Nice. Like to see it. Falco kind of picked up his first early-ish kill on Bowser there. And he hasn't, had, he hasn't had any SDs with that neutral B yet, either. So we might talk about how Falco's up air doesn't kill like Fox's up air does, but it's still a similar hitbox, am I, am I correct on that? It's a little smaller. It's, yeah, it's a little smaller. Um, I but do. Just... I, I do want to point out for the first time, um, the timer might play a role in this match. Uh, we're at we're at like five and a half minutes out of ten, and uh, we're at four There's... stocks each. stocks, yeah. So okay. we, we got we got a wow, what a grab! What a grab! Yeah, we got a grab. Yeah, it's just, I mean, Falco has the control. He's just taking so long to clean up these What? Stuff. What? what? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> that combo, oh my god, oh my god. He hit him off to neutral beast spike and then fall, fade back. To oh, the no! oh no! Oh, Falco. You can't go so amazing to something so noobish like that. <laughs> this Falco. Who taught this guy to play Smash? He's like... Oh, and he just, did he just ledge cancel that? Oh, and then a big oh, forward good. smash. But he has his jump back. He can up B. Yeah, he'll make it. Conservation of greatness. <laughs> up B to down smash. I thought he was going to run off. I'll run off the air there. would have been so nice. He's had so many opportunities to get those downers. Yeah. Oh, that's a huge down smash from Bowser. That's we've had so far. Like the Lucas Puff was a two stock for Lucas. And that was closer because the other ones are threes. A down air! He got a down air! Into a close match. Small percent lead here for Bowser. It's not really giving much. Oh! He just rolled up SD! What he would have SD'd. Oh man. What, what's the timer looking like now, Tark? Uh, we're at four minutes. So, I mean, they, they really picked it up. But it's still, there's four minutes left. Uh, it's very possible that we get into sudden death here. Falco's going crazy with these upbees now. But these guys look like they're going to take it to last stock anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they were playing conservative in the beginning, and now they're very aggressive. Ooh, a he taunt from Bowser. <laughs> Big percent lead for Bowser here. I mean, oh, that's fair. Huge it's corner. huge. Oh, yeah. So Falco, he's made it incredibly competitive, but he has to do some serious work right now if he wants to win this. 
He's got a good damage percent on, on Bowser. He gets the right forward smash or something. Maybe does one of his cool little oh side Fear into <laughs> down B? What an incredible finish from Bowser. Oh I can't believe that. He comboed him into down B to get him off stage without a jump. Oh my oh. goodness. And I'm like, let's give a hand to Falco there. That was a crazy run. I don't think anybody saw that coming. No, no, I mean, uh, really some amazing plays. He had the one SD, which we, we, we thought would happen, but that that combo that ended in the uh, the Phantasm was amazing. But yeah, that was so absurd to see a CPU do something like that. He got a down air off stage. Yeah, he, he got the down air spike, but then... Uh, that forward air down beat to end it from Bowser, though. What a crazy match. So, so Brian Marvin's perfect bracket is... Is not busted, but he had Falco winning there, so we no longer have a perfect bracket there. I don't know about all the other brackets. We have to look through them all, but it looks like we don't have any perfect brackets left. I guess. Um, so go that match was really like a cut above all the others we've had so far in terms of excitement. That was just crazy. Oh yeah, that was that was also our closest one. I feel like. I mean, it yes, our Luke and Hawk was the same stock count. But it didn't feel as close. Like that one was a back and forth. I mean, stock versus stock versus stock versus stock. Yeah. There was no. It was just it was really stock. just that crazy downbeat play that Bowser made to finish it. That was the winning combo. Yeah, the fair fair to down B. Who knew? So Mario DK next, the oldest matchup in video game history. Yeah. This is uh. So we are we're, before we get into um. This uh top 16 now i got a bunch of stuff to set up um we're gonna do our first giveaway in chat so hold on everybody we are now in round two sweet 16 blah 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 so you know in the end like early on it was uh it was looking like the vanilla characters were coming out on top uh, but Lucas did pretty well. And, you know, Bowser and Falco both looked really good. They were fighting each other there. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm having, I have some hope for these remix characters. I think they function pretty well. We saw Falco do some crazy stuff in that game, even though he has no idea what his moves are. <laughs> He'd been, and Bowser, too, he, he doesn't know what his moves are, but he put together that crazy play with the four-air down B, stealing the jump. Yeah, I mean... And it's you know, really it, like anything can happen. it really, it really does. Um, especially with the, you know, it being a best of one, mm -hmm. you know, you have uh, one, one, one rough day and, uh, you're Dr. Mario and you're, you're out. Bowser has to take on Wario next. I really don't know how Wario works as a CPU. If he uses his neutral. Oh, on. he uses it. <laughs> uh, it I remember fighting against Wario's CPU one time, and he, he just kept down smashing me, and I kept running into it. But that might be more <laughs> of like a me problem. Maybe. The CPUs down smash a lot if you're fighting them, but I think it's like a specific situation. If you run at them on the ground, it's like their go-to defense is to just down smash perfectly as you're coming in. Uh, and like computers like Mario are really good at that. Getting in on the ground against Mario's computer can be really difficult sometimes because he'll just, like, you know, one frame reaction down smash you as soon as you're in range. Yeah. Uh, but the CPU battles end up being, like, more like they'll roll into each other and then instead of down smashing, the other CPU will panic, roll away, or they end up fighting up in the air. All right. So before we get into the Sweet 16, I do want to do our first giveaway. Um... This one comes courtesy of MAP Technologies. They are a uh, an electronics uh, shop and gaming lounge here in Baltimore, Maryland. A bunch of really cool people. They donated uh, this Mega Man Perler. We got a sweet gaming headset um, and uh, some Funko Pops. So. Thank you to MAP Technologies. If you guys are ever in the Baltimore area, definitely make sure you check it out. They just moved to a new 5,000 square foot venue with the stage and the whole deal. Um, they'll be putting on events there for sure. Uh, you can also check out um, their streams. Uh, we have a podcast on YouTube, um, MAP Technologies. 
Um, but definitely just go to their website, uh, mapgametech.com. Um, again, electronics, video games, they got it all. Great people at MAP Technologies. And one of them has uh, one of our best brackets so far. Uh, so for this giveaway, uh, I'm going to start it now and see what happens. Kind of bad at these uh, stream elements giveaways. Not really sure how they work. There you go. You say exclamation mark ticket to buy a ticket. I'll give you guys a couple minutes to get tickets. And then uh, we'll do the giveaway. Anyone that wins a giveaway, please, please, please uh, DM me on uh, Twitch or Twitter or Discord. Or one of those things you have a connection to me on. Um, if you're not on any of those social media sites, then Twitch is going to be the one. And uh, yeah, that'll be how you redeem your prize. So we got a few people entered. I'll give you guys one more minute. Exclamation mark ticket to enter for this free giveaway. Yeah, I, I said it's only one per person. Nice try, Soap. Nice try. So the tickets, Darn. the tickets are not actually based on channel points. That's a whole separate point system that I don't even have enabled. That's why... I do it this way. It's a joke. Too many tickets. Too many tickets. Oh, did I screw something up? It says 21 tickets purchased. Yeah. Sky, you already have one. <laughs> Comical. Hey, man. Hey, Beef. Hey, everybody in chat. Hope you're doing all right. Things have been a little crazy trying to put this together, but it's pretty fun. I think we're uh, setting up for a, a really good one next year. Gimmer's probably going to steal my idea and do it with uh, Smash Ultimate next year. That'll be, that'll be fun, actually. Like a 90-character bracket. And the Thunder Bets are open. Link versus Samus is up. But the next one is Mario DK. All right. I'm going to close this. We've got 22 people entered. There are 60 of you in chat, so it could have been 60. Looking at you, Commander Root. Give you uh, 10 more seconds, and I'll close the giveaway. And we'll see who wins this. Again, the Mega Man Perler, the headset with a microphone, and the Funko Pop. A-Team. A-Team Pops. Murdoch and Templeton. Today's the day for the secret new remix character reveal. Yeah, yeah. April 1st is only a couple days away. I can't wait for the, the Blue Falcon to be playable. You guys ready for the uh, the Smash Remix uh, TI-83 port? It's going to be a big one. All right, closing the giveaway. Who's eating their mic? Probably Dave. All right, giveaway is closed. You can no longer enter, and let's see who wins. Sherlock! Congratulations on the win. Four and a half percent chance to win, and you did it. Uh, make sure you contact me sometime between now and the end of time so I can give you the info. Uh, we'll get this shipped out to you. Thanks for thanks for participating, everybody. Cool. All right, so that worked out. That was that was pretty easy. Yay! Yay! Giveaways. Again, thank you to MAP Technologies. Make sure you all check them out at mapgametech.com or 
YouTube, Twitch, all of that stuff. They stream, they do podcasts, um, which I am a part of sometimes. Good times, good times. Actually, uh, the last thing MAP streamed was a WWF No Mercy CPU tournament that was super fun. We had a blast. We were at a uh, brewery in Baltimore for that one. Yeah, the next time you guys do one, and I'm back in Baltimore, I gotta, I gotta do one of those brewery events. It sounds like a good time. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. We had like, you know, we had a green screen set up with like the fake N64 crowd behind us and everything. It was, it was a lot of fun. It sounds great. So, um, I'll be back actually this week. So, if you guys are doing an event in the next week or week and a half, I'm down to check it out. Yeah, I think you can do like slash whisper to DM me on Twitch. I think that's how it works. Or am I thinking of WoW? I don't know. Either way, uh, congrats to Sherlock. Or is it Sherlock? All right, so we are moving on. We are in the Sweet 16. And our first match is an absolute classic with Mario and Donkey Kong. So I want to give a little update on the standings right now. Um... The hometown hero from Baltimore, the Brian Marvin from Matt. So he he did have Falcon beat Bowser. So his bracket's not busted, but he just gets that one wrong. But there are still five perfect brackets still standing. Uh, Jesse Wall Kamui, uh, the guy who does a lot of the uh, nice nice fun facts on sixty four. Drew Lands, C Samgo, and Poke Hero. Those are the five standing. Perfect brackets right now. Also, uh, I don't I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we actually had 64 bracket submissions. Oh, yeah. That's even more interesting. Like perfect, perfect number for a perfect game. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, we had 64 bracket submissions. Um I saw that at like 1.20 p.m. today, and I I closed submissions. Um let's see. What people are thinking about Mario DK, pretty even right now. Um, I'd say it's a pretty even matchup. I feel like Mario has the edge, but we saw that, you know, absolute meltdown from Dr. Mario earlier. He totally <laughs> fell apart with those updates. Right, and, and Mario could uh, fall into that same trap. I don't think there's anything, you know, that would suggest that's likely to happen again it might have just been based on you know how samus plays as well and the positions that she goes into i mean maybe we should be giving more credit to samus for baiting dr mario right into doing those right i mean you don't need to hit your opponent if you can just convince them to jump off the stage passivism it would <laughs> it's a it's a sixty thousand point bonus too what I was saying about Fox earlier with his up is if you're a human, like you can beat Fox without hitting him if he's a CPU. It's the easiest one, probably. You just go under side platform and shield. So we, we also have here, um, this is Mario DK match. There's only one, uh, there's two two rackets with DK winning, but there's only one with Mario winning. Uh, Lord Narwhal is the only Mario submission for Mario winning the whole thing. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a bold pick. It's a bold pick. But again, again, that the base conference is so weak compared to the unlockable conference that if you make it to the finals, anything is possible. Again, it's just yeah, a it's yeah. just a best of one. Anything can happen. So it, it it's I'd it's Mario or Fox to make it out of the, the base conference. Like Yeah, I think Fox is a pretty good pick. Um I think Kirby is a decent pick, uh, but Fox is definitely a good one. All right, let's. Uh, it looks like the uh, players are ready. Whoops. There we go. Immediate boost. Yeah. <laughs> He probably lost his charge there. Well, I got a question. Uh, I mean, that's a good cancel into the up B. We talked about how, or Frey talked about how the characters are kind of aware of the original Castle They're aware of their moveset the way that the remaining characters launch. We saw Dr. Mario SD a bunch, and it seemed like he just wasn't aware of the strength of his up B being uh, punishable for him to himself. 
do we think regular Mario is going to make those same mistakes? Like, yeah, going... I'm not sure. It, I think he absolutely could. Yeah, it's it's all, it's all about the positioning. If they're playing around the edge of the stage like that, I think it's very possible for uh for Mario to to have some of those up in the wrong direction. Yeah, my question was, was that a symptom? See, of... there, no, I don't think no. that was a symptom. I, I think Mario would probably do that same thing. So, well, Mario is a stock lead here. Get the up smash trade with Undaki Kong. Uh, up a stock, obviously the percentage is terrible here. It's not a good strong lead in the up. Nice so. up tilt. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Up well, the game. yeah, and DK CPU really likes using it. Um, oh, that was, by Mario. You see that? The that was Mario. a great combo, but down smash from DK. Also very strong. You just don't see people use it very much. Knock slide, but a lot of damage on DK. I mean, DK's a heavy character, and he's not fully charging that punch. So he's got to get a lot of... Not a lot of work out of that. Does Mario drop in? Yeah, he drops him the down here. Down here for Mario. Nigger clear him off stage. Fireball spacing. Oh, oh that was close. That was close. You're right, Fred. I mean, he was, he was a few pixels away from killing himself there. Yeah. A little cocky with the uh, taunt, too. But... The, the way the character specific AI works, it's more just stuff that like adds into their behavior like you see dk like knows he's supposed to charge his neutral b it's just little simple things like that yeah. Ooh. mario takes a stock lead he's got a low percent so i, I have a feeling he's i feel like i'm feeling with this current lead mario has he's gonna keep chipping away until it turns into a two or three stock by the end of it yeah the dk cpu has a hard time closing out stocks um yeah he's not taking a short stock here is mario having a stock lead He's going to build up on that percent lead, and that percent lead is going to just... A back air from DK, though. Flipping away until Mario has a convincing lead in the later on. We do have DK submissions. There are people who actually have DK winning it. Ooh. Soto being one of them. That was a, a really good read from DK to throw out that up tilt, but Mario uh, didn't take the bait. Did not run off that top plat. Another back air from DK. These are these are rare. And the, what a read! Wow. What a read! He just throws out the punch and Mario jumps right into it. But at 151, this stock count is not really even. You might as well just call it a Mario lead. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for that down smash. What did we see? Oh, the big spank. Gave him a big spank. And the down smash? That's not gonna kill DK yet. The Ford told. Yeah. The, oh. Oh, yeah, oh, that he threw out the up smash, but just missed. There, oh, DK is gonna be off 216 on DK. DK is not going down. He's just hitting a lot of these drills. Back throw, yeah, dead DK. That was fast. But that's one thing you see now that they know how to Z cancel. Like, there's nothing else telling them what to do afterwards, but they're just so quick sometimes. They'll like land a Z canceled aerial and then just follow up with something. Dash attack from DK. Oh, he lost his charge. Oh, Mario, oh, he was going for it. He was going for it. You got the spike on the edge of the stage there? That would have been a, that would have been a finish. Fishing for those down smashes. Uh, I think my feed's frozen here. Yeah, my feed's frozen. yeah sorry. It's um, it's just my my computer right now. Hold on. Here we go. We're back. Oh, not smash there. Not killing. Didn't kill. Surprising at that percentage. It must have been stale. I missed some of the feed there earlier. I don't know if that's the second on smash in a row, but. The near... Oh, he comboed it that time. Either. Oh, it does. Wow, the near does kill him. I'm surprised that uh. The near seemed like it was going to be weak. I didn't think it was going to hit. We're not really seeing Mario widen his lead that much, but he does have the stock count lead of two now. It's just he's, you know, he's really close to death. Yeah, get some more damage going. Um, Any random move by DK could take him out. He will not. Where's that? Shot. Where's that up tilt? There it is. There he is. <laughs> DK's up tilt is the uh, tied fastest up tilt in the game, and it's the strongest up tilt in the game. So calling it yeah. calling it fast is deceptive. It comes out fast. Yeah, it comes out for four. Yeah. 
We're just, uh, it, we're just ignoring active frames and cooldown and all that, but it comes out very fast. To be well, fair, cooldown is not that important. Like active frame problems or cooldown problems, just hit them. <laughs> Every time you hit your opponent, none of that matters. So <laughs> just, just get good and hit them. Um, but it does cover. So we saw how he took the stock. Yeah. It covered the and full range. Kirby's up tilt doesn't cover around him as much as the EK's does, and neither does Pika's up tilt. They both are just as fast. Uh, probably have better combo potential, don't have as much cooldown, have more percentage of active frames, so that's why they were considered better up tilts. But with the CPUs here, DK's up tilt works as a great tech chase. Because if your character rolls in, he'll cover both sides, which the other characters won't necessarily do that. Like we discussed earlier, having a strong move with long duration and big yeah. range is just hugely important if you're a CPU. Yeah, for CPUs, it definitely helps. DK, man. He doesn't have a way to kill. He just, has, it's funny, like, he has so many <laughs> ways to do it, but the CPU just doesn't do it. He throws out those up tilts, but that's that's kind of it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we saw him find that neutral B read earlier. We saw we saw Samus versus Mo Dr. Mario getting a lot of laser kill kills. Actually. Yeah, he got a few uh, charge shot kills. kills. We're not seeing charge kills for DK, really. Like, the punch is not working. Comes out too slow. He doesn't have the reach, like the the, the projectile for Samus. Imagine if it was a projectile. Oh man, his punch just goes across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> game over. Talking about game over. Yeah. Like the the punch just loses because it takes too long to come out. Like you can just hit him while he's starting up his punch and then beat him. We just saw. Mario's just running away with this. No. Yeah. What are you What are you taunting for, DK? DK. You're getting wrecked. Yeah. Don't be cocky, DK. Come on. You don't know what's going. And then he he had like the worst possible throw option there. <laughs> one would have killed the other one, in, so he was going for in stage throw for more combo potential, but he just. Toffee. Are so. we going to see the four stock for Mario? Can he this stay alive? The biggest uh, victory we would have seen so far. Fourth was not going to kill. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Getting a little fancy there. Yeah, yeah wow. Up tilt kill. We get the up tilt kill because it catches the roll. CPUs roll a lot, and a move that lasts long that covers a lot of space, like DK's up tilt, will catch the roll. And that's the second time we've seen that, that throw combo or the up tilt combo. Kill Doesn't have a jump in the here. Last I mean, that whole thing was just amazing because he canceled the fully charged punts into the up tilt. Yeah. It was like a fully charged punch canceled into an auto cancel forward air, and then an immediate up tilt. Yeah, it was awesome. Whew. Now, now this DK is really moving around. He uh, waited yeah, it a little just... too long, though. And yeah, Mario with the ability. three stock. Just through the so middle of that game, Mario was so dominant. We were uh, we were getting close. I, I thought maybe DK was stalling for uh, for time there because it was getting close to sudden death. But uh, Mario takes it. Pull up the stats for you guys. I mean, look how much more damage Mario did. DK. Is that the first over 1,000? It might be, yeah. It was a lot. <laughs> I think if, if Falco had, had won the Bowser match, then maybe Falco could have could have done it, but that was a rough one. So Mario advancing. Let's. Uh, he said at some point in there, Mario got a forty-five percent damage true combo against DK. <laughs> it's impressive. So Mario, uh, moving on. Good job. So that's. I'm going through some of this data to check. We got. Uh, so Jesse Wall's perfect bracket is no longer perfect. Not that it's busted, but uh, he had DK winning there. So that's one of the perfect brackets down. I think most people would have probably predicted Mario to win that one. Yeah, he's probably probably like a slight favorite. But maybe I mean, maybe all more all than all slight. Five. So we had five perfect brackets going into that match. Give me maybe 30 more seconds, and I can tell you what our current standing is. Um... Yeah, Link, Link, Samus up next. We, uh, 
this this uh, really could. I feel like it could go either way. I mean, Samus obviously has an advantage as far as um, the recovery goes. So, you know, although, yeah. Link gets hit by like a stray hit and it's not making it back. Random charge shot. Yeah. We had five, we had five perfect brackets going into that match. Three of them are out now, so we only have two remaining perfect. Wow. Brackets. Wow. Real winning. Um, that's Kamui, the kind of fun fact N64 stat guy. And then Csamgo. I don't know how to pronounce his name. That's just the tag he's given. So um, Csamgo uh, and Kamui are the last two <laughs> perfect brackets. Who, who do they have winning this next match between oh, Link and Samus? That's, that's what I'm going to tell you now. So give me one second to pull these up. And... <laughs> RIP to everybody that had their perfect brackets busted on the very first match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I did a third bracket, and I'm telling you, while not a lot, a lot of people thought Dr. Mario winning the whole thing, no one did. Uh, a lot of people had Dr. Mario going at least one round, if not up to the final four. And so that crush, I mean, if you want to look to the bracket and see which ones are busted, you could just spot check who has Dr. Mario winning, and then that just throws out 75% of brackets. Um, so let's pull up Kamui and Sims go. And we're going to get a, we're going to tell on these are kind of the two brackets to watch for the rest of the tournament. Um. Yeah, and I think uh, just watching that last match with Dr. Mario, I think that's what a lot of us were expecting from the Dr. Mario. And honestly, like, Dr. Mario was playing like that through a lot of the Yeah, matches. it's fair. It was just those SDs, yeah. SDs. Those so we have, we have, Louis has Fox winning the whole thing. Um, so we'll see on out in a in short run where his bracket's busted. And Seems Go has, C, or C Sam Go has Ganondorf winning the whole thing. So both have a couple matches we got to wait on. But um, our next round is what? What's our next match? Is that gonna be Lincoln the, Samus. Lincoln Samus. Lincoln Samus. So both have Samus beating Link. So this will not break either bracket if Samus wins. But it will tell us um, if Link if Link wins, that there's no more perfect brackets remaining. So I I, I, I don't know. I have, I have someone in chat saying they they have a perfect bracket right now. Who's this? I, I, I looked through all the brackets, but P Troutum, P Trout M. Oh, that's uh, that's the guy whose bracket is totally blank. Dude, you submitted a <laughs> had to re-upload it. I don't. I don't think we ever got the re-upload. Oh no! I didn't see a re-upload, at least not from what I have on the drive. Um, but I have his bracket. He was. He was the guy who was making it. So before we even got onto the live broadcast, I was making a joke. There's one guy who, if no one wins, he wins the whole thing because he picked up blank bracket. <laughs> <laughs> the man uploaded a, a blank bracket. Yeah, so, that's uh, that's it, pretty man. funny. That's pretty funny. It's, it's your call, Dark, on whether. Well, uh, we, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'm not gonna make any calls right now. Uh, um, that's pretty funny, though. Yeah. Well, oh, hey, get him to send you his bracket image now. And yeah, yeah, yeah. S the send earlier he sends it, the better. Tweet, tweet, uh, tweet your your completed bracket at me right now. Right now. All right. Uh, oh, I have set up Link and Samus. I mean, I still let the man play. You know, it's we're having a good time, and yeah, uh, I, he's still. I mean, I still need the bracket. <laughs> yeah, 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 there's still a long way to go. So, uh, even if he fudges a couple, like the first five matches, I mean, really, you know, there's a long way to go before I'm ready to play the thing. So, uh, but we do right now. Yeah, we might have three perfect brackets going forward. You know. I mean, I have a, I have a perfect, my, my yeah. perfect, you know, I'm making it right now, but. That's, that's, that is the classic, right? You, uh, you, when you, when you send your teacher the, uh, the corrupted file that won't open. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Here, let me send you the real one. A week later, I actually, I saw all the time in high school. So it was, uh, what, I don't know what, some English on his English class, whatever the fuck it was, uh, but, you know, I, I just was always lazy at sleep in class. You know, I didn't really care. Uh, and my teacher would be like, oh, everyone's paper's due tomorrow or whatever, right? And I would not do the paper. And then I would, you know, she would come to me later. She's like, oh, you know, 
David, you, you never submitted your paper. You never got it. I go, oh, I could have sworn I put it in the stack. Let me, I mean, I don't have it on me now because I thought I put it in there, but let me go print it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, or another, another good one is, um, you sent, you, uh, you email them the wrong, like a paper from the different class. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, like, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Back when I was a kid, we didn't really have email. So, right, right. Right. I was thinking about college. Yeah. yeah I'm talking like high school. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. College, a lot of time in my stuff. Like, college was very, very nice. Uh, and so I would always say, Oh, bring it tomorrow. Mrs. Moore, which I also love Mrs. Moore. I asked her on a date when I figured out high school, but she told me no. Um, but, uh, I'd always bring it in the next day and she'd give me like full credit. I'd hand it in like a week late. She just, you know, always <laughs> go with and believe my excuses. So, you know, Peter Troutman's doing the same thing now. Oh no, what just happened? Oh, there we go. My like audio cut out. That was crazy. All right. Uh, looks like players are ready. So we'll go ahead and get into this next match. We have Link and Samus. Very exciting. Interesting thing with this matchup, uh, Samus is a hard character edge guard, and a lot of characters have to very carefully time and space their moves. It's very difficult for the editor of Samus. Link is one of the few characters that actually does a good job at edge guarding. Like forward tilt, it's below the stage, is long lasting, and has a good amount of strength, such that if Link forward tilts Samus on recovery, Link has a pretty good chance at either missing and not being punished or successfully edge guarding Samus. But yeah. there was an like, run off stage killing himself. The interesting thing with CPUs though is CPUs probably aren't going to be mindful of the edge card timing and spacing. And so I'd suspect Did Samus just do like three charge shot cancels in a row? Yeah. <laughs> what was I'd that? suspect with CPUs Samus is a little bit of an edge here, while Link on the human level might might win. Those charge cancels were unbelievable. Oh no, Link! Oh no. He's already down to five stocks. Yeah, things are not looking good for the uh, hero of time. Another, I mean, these downers are landing, but bad angles and then the SD. Things can Link kill Samus. It's like Link's, Link, Samus isn't even killing or doing damage to Link. Link's just killing himself. That's <laughs> nice there, all the top left. I mean, I think like an uh, an up B in neutral, like Link does, uh, the CP does up Bs. Um, down air, of course. Up air would have done it. Forward air, forward he smash, right down he smash. Just, you just down air to take the stock. And what are just, these charge cancels? I don't them. remember Samus doing this. It's just mind games. Oh, there's an up B. Oh, Great but up B. did not catch Samus's jump. Um, if it had stolen the jump, that would have been huge. Link would have uh, been right back yeah. in this. And you don't really see CPUs try to edge card one another. No, they They'll just go to the middle of the stage. They only do it if like the CPU is drifting towards the side plat to recover. If if they're drifting just towards the ledge, they usually just let them do it. All right, roll battle. <laughs> Back air forward smash. No yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> the weak down oh, smash. Into the strong roll. down smash. We're seeing a little bit of edge guarding here. Not very often you see uh, Samus's down smash stale, but now we have. <laughs> oh, great up B. But still got the jump. Still though. has a jump. Another up B. Still has a jump. Dash attack? Nope. Oh, you canceled the dash. You had a chance there. It's Link just doesn't <laughs> want to win. Wow, Samus. <laughs> <laughs> Link went for some kind of crazy read there. <laughs> really likes these up Bs. Yeah, I got a little tech chase there. He probably covered everything. That's Link covering all options. Oh, if only I was a full charge shot and waited a little bit, Samus would have had a pretty standard combo there. Are you watching Twitch again? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> resolution, like, it comes out clearer and smoother than the Discord. Yeah, Discord's not always great. 
No, oh, so it's instead of a jump. Well, I just gravitate towards the pretty colors, you know. Uh, I mean, Link is only down by one. He has an SD since the beginning, you know? He had those two SDs early, and he's been pretty much keeping it close. Oh, we're getting back into the role oh, battles. God, these characters are smashing everywhere and missing everything. <laughs> Yeah, did that did that down smash dodge the charge shot? I don't know, that was crazy. I want to see that again. Every time they get onto the ground, they just start doing that roll dance. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool, like a weak nair into up B. Oh, he almost got the edge cancel. Another down smash. So Link's getting too cocky with these. But the oh, forward, forward tilt. Forward tilt. Forward tilt's enough. Jump. Link, coming jump. Link coming back. Link coming back. Night stock game. Presenting Samus' favor. I don't think I expected that. The charge <laughs> cancel. <laughs> Come back, E. Oh, combo? It's what a combo. Tilt. What a great combo, that and that was a jump! Wagner's <laughs> <laughs> about to be busted! Samus is just choking so hard right now. Up by two stocks earlier. Now down by one. Okay. Yeah. Evens it up. A two stock game. Is is Samus gonna continue her run for for Brian's bracket? I don't know. Brian's not looking too good right now with that comeback by Link. It's really hitting a toll. Yeah, another another down smash coming out or an up B. Not quite this enough. It's, it's still Link though. If he gets caught without his jump one time, yeah, he could die super early. Or if he just down airs Samus near the edge. Oh, that's a big up smash. That would have been like 40% that she just put on. 69. We got a 69 on screen. Good job. Samus, though, on her last stock after being up by two against this Link. You see Link over these high up Bs, though, a lot. If Samus interrupts his fall like one time, he's he's out of there. I mean, Samus isn't done by a lot. Samus needs a good hit right here. No, but Link's yeah. racking up the damage right now. Yeah. Link's looking like he's not going to let it happen. An edge guard, but the up B from Samus grabs the ledge. Link almost had the ledge cancel. Yeah, Link has just been in control for a while now. Samus is uh, not finding the kill. No, oh, the miss grab from Samus, but terrible punish from Link. Then, like, Samus's down smash, just not that great. But the down air, oh. almost enough. Samus does have a jump. Samus will get back because the CP is on edge But this is a. This oh. is a Rolls into the last hit. Back air! The back air just came out, but it was too close to the platform. Uh, anything's gonna do it for Link at this point. <laughs> oh, Samus! Oh, course, what are kill. you doing? Order not gonna kill. Missed the miss the platform oh, down it. air, it's and Link. Damage! All brackets are busted now. All brackets are busted. What a well, crazy! Except potentially for the the mystery bracket we just got via email. We, don't really know <laughs> that one yet. we have no perfect brackets anymore. Wow! What a comeback from Link. Yeah, that. Can you, take, can you see the percentage of that? I want to see the damage. Oh yeah. A thousand. He did a thousand. <laughs> that one stock with uh, a B into the boomerang into the Ford tilt. Oh yeah, that was great. I think I've seen in a while, a thousand. Yeah, uh, it's, who almost had twelve hundred? Mario. 
Was he on uh, TK? I guess I guess it was a long match. Some yeah. someone almost had it. It was it was one of the more recent matches. Um. All right. Let me. Brian Harvey Craggett's dead. The old he local hero in Baltimore. Sam swing at all. Can't get past Link. All right, Even Link. Moving on. Uh, our next matchup, we do have Yoshi versus Kirby. Yoshi is a weird CPU. Um, you, you, like, you want to think they'll do well. Yeah, some crazy tech skill. Oh, yeah, especially uh, underneath the side plats. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I've seen Yoshi do, do decent in uh, CPU matches, and I've seen Yoshi be, like, undisputedly the worst in some CPU matches. So it's... I, I I have no idea where this is gonna go. So what what does Kirby have that makes him a good CPU? Is Ford Smash is strong? Yeah, uh, I'd say the Ford Smash. Um, his recovery is good. Re recovery's fine, but he is light, which is a little dangerous. His we'll and his specials are are pretty weak. Yeah. So I I, I don't know. Like he's, it's just not it, that strong of a CPU in these CPU matchups. We do see, like, uh, with improved AI, um, they go for forward air a lot, and if Kirby gets... He might get some, like, drag down forward airs, and now that he, like, Z cancels it, uh, we might see some follow-ups off of that t type of thing. Because they, they do act very quickly after the Z canceled aerials. Like, they just keep moving. And, yeah, like, true. A, a lot of the little combos we've seen them doing so far have been because of that, because they're Z canceling their aerials. Yeah, I, I, this is a, definitely a toss-up. I, I feel like maybe the slightest edge to Kirby. Yeah, I feel like Kirby can probably take it. His forward smash is just so good. Yeah, the forward smash is good. Um, yeah, the, the, the weak specials, they both have bad specials. So You never know what Yoshi's going to do, though. He might make some like crazy plays with his double jump armor just out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, Kirby Kirby CPU is funny because they they go for the neutral B a lot, but then once they get the the once they steal the power, I feel like they like rarely use it. Also, it's Yoshi, so it's gonna be garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a worse version of what Kirby. he already has. Yeah. <laughs> uh, predictions are up for this. Let's see uh, what people are thinking. We've got. That's pretty even, pretty even with Yoshi Kirby on uh, on Thunder here. Uh, if you guys aren't already betting, make sure you go uh, to thunder.gg. Links are in chat. Um, you can earn these points, bet them. Uh, points can be used towards the prize pool at this event. They can also be used to purchase merchandise on the website and stuff. It's very cool. Um, I, I, I always feel weird, like comparing one you know like service to another but it's very similar to like what we've seen with uh Macherino, um with like the me Too king tournaments and stuff so a very cool platform um definitely check it out place your bets here yeah beef beef said he based a lot of picks on recovery but yeah there's yeah. no edge guarding <laughs> It's more about how far their recovery goes because yes. it, it's basically a dividing line between like they'll either always make it back or sometimes they'll die off of the bottom before they die off of the side or the top. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Beef, I did give you like three weeks to do some research. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people submitted their brackets like day one. It's like, all right. The other thing, like, weight can play a big role. Like, we saw Bowser earlier. Bowser has one of those good recoveries where he's pretty much always going to make it back and not be edge guarded. Right. Even and even when he had heavy. that, he did that neutral B off stage. Yeah. I mean, he was, like, in the bottom blast zone and he still made it back. Uh, so, like, let's Bowser see. is one of the best in terms of survivability. Yeah. So, he, you know, he can regularly live to, like, 150, 200. Yeah. I, I mean we saw him we saw him over two hundred percent a few times. All right, let's see. I think um I think our players are ready. If I can remember to hit the right button. Got Yoshi and Kirby, uh sweet sixteen match. Let's let's go. So on the uh on the field, uh there's more Kirby picks than Yoshi picks for the winner. 
couple Kirby picks, or a, a couple Yoshi picks and a few Kirby picks uh, for winning the entire thing. None of these characters for like the greater group of submissions is going to really break anyone's bracket in a way where like they have no chance of winning. Oh, for a couple people, this is an important matchup. For a couple people, this is a very important matchup. Obviously, if Ganon goes down soon, then a lot of people lose. Yeah, Gan Ganon, that's a big one. That's 16 of the 64 brackets. Have him going all the way. Great up airs yeah. from Yoshi. Oh, the rock, wow. Back air, gonna that take it. Yeah, yeah. Let's stock early here. Pretty quick for a stock compared to the other, uh, I mean, minus SDs. For like a raw kill, this has been a pretty quick stock for a lot of these uh, CPU matches. Yeah, and it's funny, like you see Yoshi using this up air so much and Kirby just refusing to use down air. Such a good down air. Yeah. And Kirby loves up air. A smash though, which is also not something you see a lot with human Kirby's, but I mean we, we could see like Kirby hit a stray up air on Yoshi after he's used his double jump, and that could just seal a stock at any moment. Or trade an up air with a down B. But I don't no. think it's his best choice of attack. Wow. Oh. What a counter. Falling up air is strong enough, though. Kirby? What? This, uh, this Yoshi's showing up. Oh. oh, no jump, though, but Kirby reset with the grab. He's just going for so many up airs right now. <laughs> it's so crazy. Off stage? Oh, Kirby. If Kirby rolls into the ledge and gets a grab and they forward throw, they will SD with it. Every <laughs> time. Um, that it happened. It took Yoshi out. We, uh, we saw that um, in a matchup uh, a week or two ago where Kirby, on their last stock, did the SD forward throw, and K Kirby lost the stock first, so ended up losing the match. It was a pretty yeah, crazy finish. Yoshi just died. Yoshi just died at like 80 off of a Kirby Ford smash. He didn't make it back with his double jump. Yeah. That's uh, pretty weird. Six, but, uh, 69 for Yoshi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I haven't seen that one before. Yoshi's but, just loving that down B. But uh, the, bait, logs, yeah. the bait was real. And uh, it got Kirby to go down there and fall for that uh, smash tag. Yoshi's going to make it back from that one. <laughs> Kirby going for his trademark up air. The up tilt breaks the armor. He's finally and using down air. Down air tech chase in the forward like, smash. That was so fast. Kirby just absolutely came alive there. Is this Kiyoshiki? I don't uh -oh. know what that was, but if Kirby gets into that corner of the stage, I guess he just becomes a menace out of nowhere. <laughs> Almost had that DJC up air from Yoshi. Uh oh, rolling to the edge this is dangerous. Nair out, of, Nair out of shield from Kirby. Gets egged before he can get the rock out. Good down tilt into forward smash in the taunt. This must be Kyoshi playing. <laughs> yeah, this is like a whole different Kirby than we were seeing in the first talk. thing CPU Yoshi is it doesn't get caught out of armor very often. Because it's, it's rarely using double jump as... Um, as like an approach. approach. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't try to absorb a hit for offense. <laughs> the egg oh, tech chase. Uh, oh, that's Yoshi. bad for Yoshi. He made it but, back. Uh, more up airs. <laughs> oh, but he catches... Calls him out. Hard read count B in the neutral... Very slight lead for Yoshi here. Kirby still throwing out up airs. Just needs to land a forward smash. Loving the oh. up airs. <laughs> held the rock for just the right amount of time. Oh, he landed. He landed. He landed. Now I'm there's no idea. now there's no jump though. Yeah, he didn't that time. And that's what I was saying. If they if they go for the ledge, they don't get edge guarded. But when they start trying to land on stage or on a platform, uh, they'll actually get edge guarded. 
Yeah, and Kirby with these like up airs, he could take Yoshi out so fast if he does a bad double jump. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna see it. We don't really see the CPU Yoshi double jumping poorly like that though. Well, if he goes like just the right distance and, uh, from the stage, he might double jump up towards side plot. Um. Also, if and Kirby it... catches Yoshi out of a down B, I'm pretty sure that steals the jump as well. Yeah, it does. Um. I don't I know what frame. I, I don't know. If, but yeah. Like that. Like from what we've seen, it doesn't seem like the CPUs interact in that kind of way. So if like Yoshi's down B, the Kirby doesn't go for up B. It goes for some other move. Yoshi has gotten so many stocks off of this down B. And not even the like, aerial down, he's just standing. Oh, he's adapting. What a great counter to the rock. Yeah, he changed up his strategy of just spamming down B underneath top plot. <laughs> All right, let's see. what is Kirby going to do with Yoshi power? The big thing is, can Yoshi add up more damage? To make Double sure down smash. And the taunt to get rid of the power. Can't get back from Yoshi, so here we go. Two stocks. Another down B. Yeah, this is this is where Wizzy uh, learned. How do you there? Do you see that? There's a sh parry shield drop there, I think. Yeah. Whew. Edge cancels his upper though. Yeah, <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. Hopes him. Oh, that down tilt caught him out of his. Oh, role. but he. That's gonna be it. Gets caught. Yeah, getting caught by that down smash. Kirby, last stock. Yo, is she gonna do this? The worst computer? <laughs> ja Japanese Yoshi is the worst. <laughs> we did a bunch of the, the region. Uh, the regional differences and dude yoshi j yoshi cpu is so bad oh he just keeps going for that upper parry up smash <laughs> what, are the CPU what are we this is now on the cpu yoshi this is looking pretty hopeless for kirby right now oh that backer was frames away that would have that killed the ocean for sure. No, it doesn't. Wow, it's like the next strong hit on Kirby is going to be it. Dash attack, yep. And the taunt. Are you going to get an egg? Yoshi was sort of edge guarding. What an up smash! Oh, it, I didn't your last time. I mean, 440 is a crazy percent high, so, like, unlikely. Up yeah, up there. And Kirby is out. Yoshi was just kind of in control the whole game. Uh, you know, I, I guess like uh, like we said, Kirby doesn't have like a ton of the stuff that you'd want a CPU to have. His down smash isn't amazing. His like forder isn't super amazing. His specials don't do a whole lot for him. And his the the choice of the CPU Kirby to use so much up air. Yeah, that's that's rough. A couple brackets just took a big hit here. Um, while Kirby only a few brackets did Kirby winning it all. A lot of brackets did Kirby going pretty far. So, you know, Dogs Johnson he had Kirby winning the whole thing, and his bracket is is toast at this point. I mean, Falcons is number two, but someone else is the winner there obviously surpasses him. Hammer Hart had Kirby in the finals versus Dark Samus. Uh, we're looking at a lot of brackets getting taking a big hit here. Big hit here from Kirby going down. Just Kirby was second place for Preston as well. We just see Kirby as a big second place character for a lot of people. And um, Yoshi taking over there is. Yeah, that was, a, that, was, that was a big win for Yoshi and uh... You know, we might we might get to see uh, a matchup that was that was argued argued about a lot uh, years ago, which is uh, Yoshi versus Fox. Could be could be a fun one with CPUs. Yeah, a lot a lot of people had Kirby uh, going to you know at least at least the final four, uh, but not yeah, definitely. That uh, was unexpected. We we saw Yoshi pull off a couple of parry plays towards yeah. the other two. It 
Yeah, really I mean, surprised me. And, a parry shield drop there and a parry up smash. And and some of those those down Bs and like down smash reads. I mean, Yoshi really uh, really showed up for that match. Yeah, I, I saw someone uh, in the chat making a comparison of Yoshi's down Bs to the sort of classic Wizzy. Yep, I mean, uh, Wizzy had to learn from somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a good observation there. It's like, wow, this uh, CPU keeps doing all this. Let's. All right, so next we have uh, Fox. Pika, um, probably a little bit more even than the real life matchup. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I, anyone who's played against Fox CPU knows he's deadly at using that up air. Yeah. Uh, Fox is a good CPU. He's a really good CPU. And like I said earlier, his biggest problem is his tendency to SD with that up special. And so, like, we could really see Fox be his own worst enemy here. Uh, it just depends on how he's interacting with the other CPU. And if they get into that position where Fox wants to do his offensive up B and just kill himself, uh, it might happen. It could happen multiple times, or it could not happen at all. Well, I think Fox is a decent uh, bracket here. Like, there's things to talk about whether he could beat, uh, you know, the unlockable conference. But from the base conference, Pikachu dies pretty early from home smash, can die pretty early from forward smash. Pika's not going to edge guard Fox that we see with the human element. Then after that, if he can win this Pika matchup, he's going to move on against Yoshi. Yoshi did decently, like pretty good against Kirby. I think Fox is just going to yeah. be a little bit stronger in that matchup. And so Fox looks like he can move into the finals or that final four. I think it um, makes the most sense for Mario and Fox to be the final four coming now, out of that now, base conference. I think this is the first time uh, we've had this happen, but uh, based on the order of the stages, Fox is getting a home field, a home field here. Well, on uh, Sector Z, do you guys think that will uh, play into anything at all? You think the the home crowd will uh, will help Fox or hurt Pika, or do you think it doesn't matter? It's the twelfth man. It's true. I, I mean, he 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 does have a crew, right? Yeah. Pikachu, I don't know. Pikachu has a also has a crew, but we're not we're not on Saffron. We just missed Saffron, so I don't know. Should be fun though. We got. Uh, I think everybody is ready. We got Fox versus Pika, our last Sweet Sixteen match of the uh, Western Conference here. Let's go. Starting off with the laser to the face, nice. Fair up Pika though, pretty classic. This CPU Pika is oh. a lot aggressive, and it's a oh, very good from Pika there. Lots of up airs, very aggressive. <laughs> Fast really fall up air. <laughs> I wonder how much Fox will use. Oh, P all right, Pika looks like uh, knows the strategy. Grab Fox, throw him off stage. But it won't edge guard, which is like the thing that makes Pika do okay in this matchup is Pika's ability to jump off stage and edge guard all the smash just Pika to the face. This is the thing I'm talking about. Fox was so Pika far away. How did that up smash land? Pika was like almost Pika on the other side of the platform. Pika kills Fox off stage, and CPUs don't go really go off stage. Oh, look how Fox. I tried dangerous. reflecting, but it missed wow. it. Pikachu just reacting with his big down smash. Uh, rolls to the edge. This Stand. is the dangerous spot for Fox. It's uh, like like Shears was saying, it's less dangerous uh, with the CPUs because Pikachu's not going to go out and edge guard. Yeah, like that's why. Uh, so we've talked about how he he kind of picked recovery as like his reason for who he thought was going to win the mat, March the bracket madness for Smash Remix. But recovery doesn't really matter. If the character can get back to the ledge, it's not about whether they can protect. Oh, he's him. doing his up airs. Recovery, the ledge. recovery distance matters, and Fox has a lot of it. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. I, it's more about can they get to the ledge, not whether they can protect themselves. In the corner, I, I, I meant it's, it's more dangerous for Fox because that's where he's prone to do his up B. Uh, if Pika like rolls into the corner, he just started one there, and he might have SD'd with that, but Pika hit him out of it. That was a great shine on top plat by Fox. Pikachu giving him the whole he, stage. He the entire stage, yeah. Just wanted Ooh. to back up for that uh, neutral B. 
Almost got that on Smash Off. Oh, Straight Fox. down, though, and it's not even a trade. It's that's, just an SD by Fox. That that's hurts. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Anytime he's near the edge there and he starts an up he'll just go straight towards his opponent. And he has no regard for whether or not that's going to kill him. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> he's just racking up damage. What a difference, too. Uh, the first stock, he took it at, like, 70%. And now Pikachu's at 190. Pikachu is almost at 200 percent. I know that's crazy for a character that Foxy killed. Oh, there you go. I mean, up here right there, but Pikachu brought. I mean, it was it was looking rough for Pika, but brought it back. There's the reflector. Not Ooh. jumping into the thunder. Oh, he's a little off, but came back. Yeah, he uh, definitely faked me out. Playing with our hearts here. <laughs> Both whiffing down smashes. Excellent use of that reflector from Fox. But uh, just like Pika's first matchup with Young Link, we saw Fox jumping up into that forward smash on a platform. We're in the up smash zone now, though. Is he going to pull it out? Oh, come on, Fox. <laughs> no, Pika oh, does Pika the up smash. <laughs> He just keeps lasering. Yeah, he's just stuck in a B move like loop. He's just getting to up. Yeah, he's Pick just up getting air. into up air percentage. Up. It was all about yeah, getting Pika to up air percentage. Those up airs are huge for Fox, definitely. What? Whoa. Falling up air. Up air. These CPUs have been pretty good with that. He's got a bunch. Uh, he's gotten a bunch of these single hit like falling up airs. Oh, that just was lives. Pikachu. Uh, not gonna go for the down B after that. We saw a couple weeks ago uh, in Pika's matchups, it landed a bunch of what a combo up smashes on top plat, but what a combo by Fox! He just racked up so much damage there. It, no it jump. Do it though. He's brought, he's brought yeah, it didn't have that jump. As a as a rough loss by Fox. <laughs> Media down smash. Oh, be careful. Not folks. enough. He just needs his up air now, though. Falling there up go. air! <laughs> That's like the first one he's actually got both hits on. Yeah. <laughs> what a grab. So much aggression from Fox right now. Wow, he timed the shine so perfectly that it didn't reflect. <laughs> he just absorbed it. This is a really close match right now. Fox racking up that like percent. And we oh, saw he's getting so much. And we've seen how important it is for Pika to just be at a high enough percent for up air to take stocks but for Fox. Because otherwise he has a hard time doing it. Oh, his up air is stale now. Yeah. I think this next stock's gonna be pretty big. Uh, just avoided. What? Oh wow! Smash. That up smash connected! Oh. Huge I play. Pika hello. But the hurt box was just sunk low because of dash attack, or maybe it just reaches that far. But that's big. That is big time. Fox is gonna Fox make it back here. This year, obviously he's gonna recover. He's and he's, up that up tilt just saved Fox because it it yeah. got rid of the blue part, the hit two of the thunder. He's back in this juggle situation. Let's see if he can rack up some up air damage here. Yeah, if Pikachu falls towards him. Oh no, Ooh, double jump. What a bait. He's not gonna close it out. Well, that's the thing, Fox, Fox doesn't go for ledge, he goes for stage, so he actually gets edge guarded by things like dash attack. Oh, Fox is living so long this stock. Up smash! No, he's got an up tilt! The up smash didn't come out, but the up air does. Fox wow. goes up three stocks to one, but at such high percent. That should do it. There we go, two, two stocks to one now. But this is tough for Pika, like... This Fox, we talked about earlier, baby, he, like, up BSDs. This Fox hasn't really been in a risky position to kill himself. No, yeah. I, it, there's been a couple uh, uppies close to the edge where he's actually so traded with Pika, and Pika saved him. Pika going off right now, dude. Oh, that... Did, did, did up air combos? Did, did a high percent, or at least a medium percent. Oh, oh he just missed. He went for an up tilt down air. Pikachu is all over him. 
Oh he's no! A lot of trades in the process, though. Yeah, he's uh, really like one good hit away from up ill up air KO percent. Oh. Now he's now he's kind of there. Back Razor throw, a back wow. throw from Fox <laughs> and a taunt. The classic laser roll back throw. Fox is actually the third most picked character to win the entire bracket. So. Yeah, he's like he's known to be a good CPU. I'm actually surprised that match was as close as it was. I think maybe Pikachu was a bit slept on as a computer. There was also the one SD, but that's yeah. that was just one. Uh, and it wasn't but like I, it was. I mean, you saw Fox kind of picked up the pace towards the end there. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. Fox like changed up his play style towards the end too. I felt like yeah. he was going for a lot more um, up Bs. It was a little weird. Those up air juggles are so good too. If the if the CPU that he up aired decides to drift back into him, then he's just gonna up air them again and again and again. Look at the damage here. They almost yeah, did no exactly the same. That is crazy. And they both they both had you know no real combos to speak of. Pretty cool. Well, let's uh, we'll take a look at the uh, bracket here. So we've so got we've Luigi got Luigi and Falcon making their debut. We got Fox moving on. So going over to the unlockable side now. Going over to the unlockable conference. Yeah, Luigi Falcon. We got Ness Lucas, Ganon, Dark Samus. Luigi, even though he's a bad character, has a lot of good CPU traits. And then Falcon, weirdly, you'd think like he doesn't have a lot of the right ingredients, but somehow he seems to be a really good CPU. Uh, actually, the only CPU I know of who's taken a, a best of three set off of a human player, which is a <laughs> pretty impressive accomplishment. That's still like one of the best things that's ever happened in this game. That was so funny. Uh, so my favorite for this match would definitely be Falcon. I think Falcon could go pretty far. In this bracket, he's gonna have his work cut out for him with uh, whichever PK kid he ends up fighting. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely rough. And then even after that, I mean, th this this whole conference is stacked. Yeah, this conference is stacked. It's like we have a lot of favorites here. You could you could have taken four different uh, characters out of this one conference and put them in all in different divisions, and they would have been favorites to make it out. Of each division. Also worth noting, this is sort of becoming like the remix side of the bracket. We've got five remix characters and three vanilla characters left in here. Yeah. And over on the base side, it's all vanilla now. Yeah, I mean, the uh, the two sort of remix heavy in the villains uh, side. Of yeah, we only had two remix characters in the uh, in the base conference, and they both lost their round one matchup. Um, now we had you know Jigglypuff lost. Lost their round one matchup, so that was one one vanilla character already out. Um, I do I, I want to take this opportunity before we start the uh, Sweet Sixteen and the Unlockable Conference to uh, mention uh, our our title sponsor again, uh, E Profile. Um, e Profile again, it's a a really cool uh, site where a platform where you can test your cognitive skills and get a breakdown of your abilities. Uh, and it's completely free. Um, you can create a profile right now at eprofile.gg and, um, take the cognitive test. I don't recommend taking that test right now as we're watching, as you're watching, uh, cause it, it does take a lot of your concentration, you know, if you want to do well, uh, but definitely go ahead and register now and um, take that test later and see how your abilities stack up with other people you know. Uh, and I just want to play this little video real quick.
So again, thank you to uh, eProfile and Thunder for the uh, $200 cash grand prize. Um, still to be determined who's going to win that. But yeah, everyone, uh, do yourselves a favor and go to eProfile.gg and register, register now. Again, I actually, I had fun taking the uh, taking the test. It was pretty cool. Uh, definitely recommend for anybody to check out. But I think I think our next match is ready. Me... Uh, just before we get into it, I do want to welcome uh, my co-analyst Jaime. I think he's finally here. Oh, Jaime! We got you. Hello. Hey, Hi. how's it going? Finally woke up. <laughs> uh, woke up. I was already awake, but I, I was at the office working. So we have our next match, uh, which is going to be. We're just getting into uh, Falcon against Luigi now. Oh, Falcon against Luigi. So I, I'm glad I didn't miss this one. <laughs> this this uh this match, I believe it can go both ways because Luigi, that'll be <laughs> CPU Luigi does does the uh, the Luigi up B a lot, when he, especially when he's getting hit. So yeah, if he manages to pull that out. Yeah, if, if he managed to get stocks from Falcon, but just but just getting those up Bs, he might he might get he might get this match. However, Falcon, he's really good at catching Luigi with those uppers. And CPU Falcon does upper a lot. Yeah, he, gonna be... he just has, yeah. like, he has really good uh, fast attacks with, like, decent reach. And they're all really strong. Like, a lot of Falcon's moves do a lot of damage. Like, all his aerials do, like, 16%. Uh, so he yeah. can rack up damage really quickly. The main thing he's lacking on as a CPU, his down smash isn't amazing. And his survivability isn't great. Like he'll die just by not being able to make it back to the stage. That's gonna be crucial in this match too. His their their recoveries. This CPU Luigi recovery is much better than Falcon. Yeah, he'll probably make it back every time. Yeah, Falcon might might lose stocks by just getting thrown off by a back throw or or F throw by Luigi. And because he doesn't use his uh, double jump falcon punch like like normal players do, he, he might not get enough distance to reach the edge. Now, uh, Jaime, I don't know if you remember um, some of the matches that were played. Uh, was that like two weeks ago now? Where Falcon was just going crazy, throwing out falcon yeah. punches. True. He landed so many. I, I don't remember who we saw him play against, um, but he was looking pretty good. I think it was Samus. Yeah, we saw definitely Probably. a few matchups, but I, I just remember landing. He landed several Falcon punches. It was pretty yeah. crazy. Uh, let's take a let's go back to the bracket real quick. Let's see what people are predicting for this. Uh, wow, overwhelmingly in favor of Falcon. However, is betting on Luigi. Uh, if he wins this, gonna make a lot. Of yeah, money. yeah, he's doing pretty well. It's gonna be a huge upset if Luigi manages to to get this Falcon. Yeah, uh, it's Luigi's definitely the underdog. Uh, despite despite uh, Luigi, a lot of people thinking Luigi's a pretty strong CPU. He's still uh, still very much the underdog here. But I think uh, everybody is ready, so we'll get into this. We have Luigi and Falcon, the first Sweet 16 match in the Unlockable Conference with uh, really one hell of a crop job on uh, Falcon's right leg there. Just, just want to say. <laughs> really fantastic job. Uh, usually it's on a much brighter background, and no one sees that. That's a quality job. Yeah, only the best. All the best can do that. All oh, Luigi starting with this down. Beat. And there's Falcon punches already. Yeah. Ten seconds in. <laughs> the two oh, there's another one. Two of them. He wants to end this match quick. 
He doesn't want to let down all the people he, that are voting for him. And I mean, th there is just absolutely no waiting here. They are both just going in. Another yeah, oh. fucking punch, but the push off into a down B. Oh, and there's the <laughs> huge, huge play from Luigi. Yeah, that's what. I, that's that's exactly what I was talking about. This this Luigi up B, and he he gets it as soon as the opponent is close to him. Crazy. Plot drop Falcon Punch, not a movie you see very often. Yeah. Another yeah, thing that Falcon Falcon likes to do aerial Falcon kicks, but he doesn't <laughs> do them on the ground, which is uh, I, really something he needs to uh, add to his his arsenal. Oh, he, he makes <laughs> he makes it work though. Yeah. This can sort of be Falcon's problem, right? Is just not being able to find the kills. Oh, there it is, the up air. His aerials are all pretty good, but like uh, he doesn't have he doesn't have the ability to just like get down smash kills like a lot of CPUs do. Oh, good little combo though. Did he? Did Luigi land? I think he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, right, the the just right through it. Yeah, but he's just gonna let Luigi back. Yeah, pretty this is standard. Interrupted the Falcon Punch. <laughs> Luigi's fishing for those upbees now. Oh. Nice tug chase. Yeah. Knew exactly where he was going. It's interesting to see how good these CPUs are at tech chasing because they don't usually tech, but it turns out once they do, they, they're right on top of that. And the push offs, too. Look at that up air. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna probably kill Falcon, right? He used his up B. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, pretty even right now. A lot of back and forth. And early in the, I mean, we've only been we've only been going for two and a half minutes. Falcon nice edge, back air. edge guarding with back air. Oh, you had no jump. And Luigi's not going to use something like down B to recover. Yeah, that's true. Gone for a lot of up Bs so far and hasn't hit any of them. <laughs> this is a keeps lot of them. He keeps doing it. The reverse up tilt? He likes to up tilt as well, yeah. Oh, no, that oh. hit him out of up B. Yeah. You see Falcon's problem coming into play there, just that if he doesn't have his jump, his recovery is not that good, and he can die at any time. Alright, the push-off oh, over there. <laughs> solid. We're seeing a lot of push-off plays this game. Yeah, both of these guys are uh, very solid with their reactions <laughs> on the push-offs. The, the triple up smash, just like a normal play. <laughs> He's just like, yeah! <laughs> Might as well be me playing. Falcon still has like a solid lead. Right oh, now, he almost got careful. stuck under the stage. Just Push off again. With up air or oh. Something like that, yeah. Luigi definitely keeping this close. He had falling up air. <laughs> the, the landing hitbox. <laughs> oh, that really wasn't oh, enough. Man. Wow. He didn't make it. I can't believe that. I knew he didn't have a jump, but I thought he would still make that. All of a sudden, it's pretty much dead even. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Reverse jab. Reverse up smash. I don't know what's going on right now. People <laughs> are really good at doing reverse moves. Oh, and Falcon roll, I mean, notoriously bad roll. Yeah. Oh, he really loves those Falcon kicks. He, he loves it. He's, he seems to have abandoned the Falcon punch, which is a little disappointing. Yeah. He was, he was doing it very often. Push -off. That was a great push-off nair from Luigi. Oh, look out. He's going to up you. Oh. And he misses again at another push-off. 
He's not gonna make this. Oh. Luigi with the lead. Really exploiting that Falcon recovery. The fist. Yeah, oh wow! Oh, he he upbeat into Falcon's own oh, no. Falcon, as usual, missed by a mile with that up B, but Luigi just gave him a gift there. Nair's out of his combo. Nair's out of Luigi's combo, alright. Uh oh, he's oh, not. What? I don't think he's coming oh. back. For, no, this is gonna be close. Oh, oh no! no. Wow. <laughs> oh, Luigi's doing it. Luigi is doing it. Falcon is uh, just proving himself to be a, a bit of a volatile contender here. He's, you know, he's made some plays, but he keeps going for these awful upbees and. Oh, and he, oh, he just went the wrong it. way. He had that. Wrong way. He goes the wrong way every single time. It seems like. <laughs> You can't win. There's a Falcon oh, Punch. He... No, you can't taunt now. You're losing. Oh! He needs to get a, like, a good strong hit. Yeah, up All right, there. he got the weird angle, but it was still enough. And, you know, he's at 80. He can still he do upbeat. this. He up B, but he got the ledge. Got the up smash. Falcon's still in it. Forward air. Both hits connect. And the forward smash. This is getting... A lot closer. This is so close. <laughs> but he is one oh, a... one push off up B away. He got the hook. the hook. He has no jump, but he still gets okay. back. And the back I throw! Know. He actually back throws <laughs> and he taunts. That's it. What a win for Luigi. I can't believe That's it. Like... That I is huge. Falcon going down in the first round. <laughs> Falcon going I, I down. People, I think had him going pretty far. Yeah, and uh, I think one who... I think everyone oh, knew that this was a close mat. Like this is a close matchup, but Falcon was still the favorite. But yeah. man, that is that's crazy. Look at that. I mean, Falcon did 170 more damage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just could just couldn't take stocks. Yeah, there were so many like crucial uh, failures to recover from Falcon. There are times he got caught without his jump or just died like so early. That's, that's yeah, I, it, it, huge for Luigi. there were a few times where it like I really thought Falcon was going to make it back and he just didn't like he doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Does Falcon have different recovery distances with his up B? No. Okay, I didn't think so. I, I just I was really surprised. It must just must have just been the the way they time their upbees or something. Or he may he might not like drift all the way in or something. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, was... I mean Luigi taking seven stocks, not even like doing seven hundred damage, barely. Like he Falcon was dying pretty much like below a hundred every time. Yeah, that is uh that's crazy. I mean, but that's exactly what Luigi needed, right? He needed to take those quick stocks because he he wasn't gonna outlast Falcon. Um but he did it and he moved on. Luigi. Wow. It's huge. Whoever put whoever put their money on Luigi in this match. Yeah, that that, that Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to that one person that uh that was uh picking Luigi on uh, Thunder. So coming up next, we got Nuss and Lucas, which is pretty interesting. I think I have like Nuss favor to win this matchup personally, but yeah, I, I would I would expect it. Um, they 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 suffer from some of the same uh, flaws with their recovery, um, but Ness doesn't have that that weird uh, pushback on neutral B in the air. So I feel like he's a little bit less likely to have that happen. They also seem to have a lot of the same strengths as CBUs. Like, Ness a very strong CBU, and Lucas seems to copy a lot of his ideas, like the up air juggling. Yeah. And, uh, that yeah. sort of thing. Except Ness also, he has this crazy tendency as a CBU to do his, like, single up B angle, but in the perfect spot to where he, like, perfect lands on the side plot. Yeah, he lands on the side plot a lot. He, like, he gets the perfect land, though, which is really difficult and precise. But CBU <laughs> Ness seems to get that all the time. I can almost never get that. Like, no Ness player can do that. CPU Ness is by far the most consistent Ness player at doing that angle. <laughs> yeah, definitely.
Also, Ness has... I, I feel Ness has the edge because of his down air. Might, might get that... It might spike. <laughs> Nobody it likes this. Nobody I'm likes this course. matchup. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one, no matchup. one wants it. Ever, everyone's boycotting Ness versus Lucas. <laughs> oh man, that is too funny. I think both of these CPUs like tend to do a lot of up airs as well. Um, yeah, and like Ness will get kills earlier with that. Uh, but we did see like w when Lucas played against Puff, a lot of crazy strings into the Lucas Ford air. And like the sweet spot of that Lucas Ford air, which came out a lot, like he used a lot of Ford airs, that's gonna kill way earlier than a Ness Ford air would. Yeah. But still, Ness upper is gonna be it's gonna be really huge in this matchup because both are are playing the air. Ness is gonna catch it's gonna catch Lucas a lot if if he tries to challenge Ness from above. And CPU Lucas is really good at hitting up air. Yeah. I mean, it, it has a decent amount of disjoint on it, right? Yeah. All right, let me... That is all set up. Let's get our second Sweet 16 match in the Game Facts division underway. Oh, we got also... Ness and Lucas. Also, both of Ness's smash attacks, uh, down and, and up smash, I think uh, they're way better than Lucas because of, of the distance they cover and how fast they are. We did see Lucas pick up a couple of up smash kills against Puff. Yeah, I and mean, look at that. Yeah, double up air into up smash. If Lu I oh, mean, Lucas advancing right now just shatters brackets. It's like... I don't, like no one had him advancing out of the play-in match. Oh, I did. I guess yeah, I was against Puff. Yeah, look at that. He gets his forder off and Ness just yeah. dies. <laughs> wow. Like we nice. know CPUs like to forder. We know they like to up air. Both of those good moves for Lucas. Nice. Oh, and Ness enters right back with a down smash, and it's dead even. Yeah. Oh, the up airs are coming. Into a down Whoa, air and an up smash. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know what it in. is with like Ness and Lucas. They just have this tendency to do like the longest combos of any CPU. Oh, he went for the down smash there. And Ness really likes juggling with that up air. He'll just keep doing it. Yes. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> it's funny because when he was looping the PK Thunder around, I was like, wow, that's a pretty big loop. Oh, and see, there you go. And oh, Lucas doesn't even try and jump after that. He just immediately up Bs, and it's it's so weird. Another like very quick stock trade, and like this is so even right now. You know, like both of these characters, you know, they're the same size, the same age, same build, but they're very different in how they play. Uh and somehow it's still like so even right now. Oh, he almost oh, absorbed he it. Absorb it yeah. Look at that, he waited for the up smash. The CPU waited. I've never seen oh. that before. <laughs> I just yeah, missed the PK next? fire. Oh, this is like the comfort zone for Ness is, is when the opponent is above him. Yeah, I, I think Lucas like went for that perfect land there too, but he, he he's a little bit different than us. Yeah, the recovery is not the same. Oh, back air. Don't see a lot of those. Oh, oh big up smash, and look at that. Third time in a row that the stocks have just immediately been traded. This is very, this is, it's reminiscent of, uh, if you ever get a chance to watch CTG versus Janitor at Snosa 5. What? Ooh, what? 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 what was that what? Graph? I can't believe that. <laughs> Frey is speechless. Suddenly Ness is like, t yeah, I am speech. I've never seen that before. I've never seen grab out of a being like that. That was like the first available frame to get grabbed. Like, that's I think crazy. some like new tech has just been discovered. 
by CPU. <laughs> <laughs> CPU Ness changing the meta. Ness is uh, suddenly he's pulling ahead. Oh, here. he just <laughs> missed the back air. But that would have been. Uh, see, alright, that time he jumped. I would have never expected Lucas the CPU to ever go for that. If he actually hit that back air. Spike. Wow, and he backed up to avoid Ness's yeah. up B, and then hit him with that. Uh, oh, the DI. oh, be careful. Oh, he had an opportunity there. Yeah, this is like this is sort of the problem for Lucas. He likes to go for those up airs, and it takes a long time for that to kill. Yeah, he needs to find that four air. Oh, oh, smash. oh man, it almost had like a good tech read with that up smash, but uh, Ness got pushed off. Up till wow. up till crazy <laughs> di under the PK fire into an instant down air. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not as even as when the game started off, but there's still a chance for Lucas here. He's a full clean stock behind though. Lucas has gotten a couple parries with his up smash. It's been pretty funny. Oh, no. Oh, and Ness is just all over him now. <laughs> yeah, but you see the, the up air comfort zone. He's back in it. Yeah. He's just in full control. Lucas has only done 11%. What are you thinking with that up smash? Oh, boy. Lucas is in trouble now. <laughs> the, the walk forward. Yeah, <laughs> got the confidence. Seems to be his go-to after that fourth throw. Oh, Nessup is out of his combo. Uh oh. Oh, down smash. Nice. They were so even for so long, but Ness just pulled away at the end of this. This long seven-stock game just might, might have been a little too much for Lucas. It definitely shows like anything can happen in these games. Like it can be dead even, or it can be just a dominant performance from one character, just like that. Oh no! And, gonna... and that's <laughs> it. Was facing the other way. Well, I don't think that was super unexpected for us to win. I was a little surprised by just how even it was. That was one of our, I think that was our fastest game so far. Also, only s under six and minutes. That... That crucial moment of uh, Lucas almost getting that combo into the back air spike could have changed everything. Yeah, really, everything went downhill for Lucas after that. Maybe just a little bit tilted by that uh, combo whiffing. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, sometimes you just, one little thing happens and it just ruins the rest of the game or the set for you. Yeah, and again, like, uh, you know, 800 damage, that's like pretty low for seven stocks he's dying at like what like 115 yeah and well that last one i think he lost it at like 40 something because of the sd right and he and he sd before that with uh the pk yeah, fire off. The stage. yeah that's true so that definitely contributed to the uh the low damage totals definitely a quick game though yeah, it was, it was a really quick game. Only six minutes. Um, so Ness advancing over Lucas. And only two more matches in the Sweet 16 left. Ganon and Dark Samus. This is so unfortunate that it had to be a round one matchup. These are like the two top characters, aren't they? These are, are, these are the, two, the two most picked characters to win the entire event are Ganondorf and Dark Samus. <laughs> and they're playing each other first. So, That's yeah, this this is uh, kind of a crazy one. Let's see. Uh, do people people lose all their points betting on Falcon? No, we got we got some bets here. Dark Samus and Ganon, pretty even. Um, it's what I expected. Ganon slightly over Dark Samus. Also kind of what I expected. Sort of just a reflection of the like bracket picks yeah i mean both of them are very good cpus um you look at dark samus and if you just if you just took the way samus cpu played and subbed in dark samus's moves i mean it's a really good cpu yeah that's four there 
Both of them really good forward airs. Forward air, the the up smash, the down smash. Um the mostly those. Like the, <laughs> forward air, up smash, down smash, and then the extended the extended uh recovery. Also, All those things. Samus, uh, that Samus CPU actually combos the opponent for some reason. Yeah. Uh, does Ganondorf, unlike Falcon, I think has a pretty good shot at making it back most of the time, unless he gets yeah. Because he, I mean, he has a lot more drift. Yeah, he's very floaty. Um, and Ganon, if if Ganon throws out random punches, he has the armor. Yeah. That's uh, true. We'll see if that catches Dark Samus at all. Um, one yes. big difference, though, you saw Falcon does all those aerial Falcon kicks. Well, when Ganon does those, they spike. So it's yeah. not those aren't going to knock Samus off stage. But let's see. Do I have all this set up? Looks like it. Players are ready. We've got... Ganondorf and Dark Samus. The two oh, top boy. picks. There's a lot on the line here. There is. There we go. I'll starting with the fork. The fork. It's the big tip <laughs> of the fork. Oh, catches oh. the up B. And a dodges the grab. the grab. <laughs> wow. wow. It's not down smash. I, you don't really think of Ganon, Ganondorf's down smash as being that good, but... In the CPU you know, matchups, it's the... been... Oh, just misses the tech chase on that. Ooh, Ooh. that was pretty close. Oh, come on! Oh oh, I, I want to see it! That was so close! Missing two fares, yeah. Now. Missed two of them. Got Gets the hook, though. Wow. And it that, is that just... Go. Not enough! Oh. Wow, Dark Samus, the craziest drift. Normal Samus probably would have died from that. Definitely. Like Definitely. The dash oh, attack, idiot. jump stealer. Oh, I yeah. did it! Gain it. Oh, a pretty strong start. Oh, the weak hit, actually. <laughs> the sour spot. The weird hit, bug. Oh, man. Alright, one of these up tilts needs to land. Double? <laughs> oh, fair. That almost oh, killed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice tech chase. Dude, one of these up tilts needs to land. Dark Savage is not finding the kill right now. Keeps going for those downers. He's gonna oh, get it with up air. Oh, huge. <laughs> huge forward smash. Not 200%. <laughs> <laughs> Ganon is just looking unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is one of uh, Dark Samus' problems in CPU Dark Samus is that she doesn't use her her KO moves often. Finally she dies at 249. Finally. I think that's the highest we've seen any CPU Definitely. until. It's surprising that Dark Samus doesn't use <clears throat> up smash more or like forward smash, you know? Where we're like, where are those moves? Yeah. Yeah, Samus loves using upper and and down air. Oh, big forder. We don't see Ganondorf going for the up beast quite as much as Falcon was. Yeah, he learned from Falcon's mistake. Yeah, <laughs> he was watching. <laughs> there is an up smash. Into a back air. Oh, nice. Alright, push off in the air. Almost comboed out of it. If that had been a full charge shot, it might have landed it, but the big down B. The perfect wow. angle on it. Ganon trying to run away with this. I think yeah, just... Dark Savage is right back into using those up airs to try to get the kill. Oh, uh, finally. It's the up smash that time. He's still dying at 200, though. I feel He's like I dying. haven't seen Dark Samus use forward air yet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's not true. even one. <laughs> combo to <laughs> Oh, getting the big combo there. <laughs> Going for it. Oh, so... no, you can't. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can't stop it. 
<laughs> challenge that move. It, yeah, we finally uh, finally saw a forward smash from Dark Samus, but definitely yeah. bad timing. True. Wow, this, uh, sour spot again. Uh, again? Oh, wow. Yeah, it looked oh. like he just stops there for a sec. Maybe they don't have the same drift. I think it's because they don't use uh, neutral B to recover. Get a little bit more of. I feel like I feel when like they do the up B. It seems like they don't drift. All yeah, the way. it seems like after the move ends, they don't drift. They might be holding up instead of forward. It's, yeah, I think that's it. Oh. The down oh, smash kill. Yeah. Yeah, CPU Ganon making really good use of uh, down smash, and there we go, it landed, and we got two <laughs> forward airs and a down tilt from Dark Samus, finally busting out some mo more moves in the arsenal. He went for the down air there. Yeah, Ganondorf just having really strong aerials make him uh, really, really strong against other CPUs, because all he needs to do to get kills it's just hit one of those aerials, and he uses a lot of them, especially the back air. Yeah, he's even right. using back air a lot, which is weird for CPUs. The dash oh, attack, dash attack. attack? Not enough. Oh, that's a dangerous spot, but yeah, Dark Samus keeps throwing out these neutral Bs. It's just not working out. Wow. There's the up there. Ganon is four stocking Dark Samus. Yeah, this is like the most dominant match we've seen since uh, Mario versus DK. <laughs> That's a lot. You're down oh. four stocks to one. There's a down smash. Good roll read. It almost seems like Dark Samus doesn't know how to charge. Oh, yeah, she definitely does it. Oh. <laughs> it's unlike that move. It's like I said earlier, uh, you know, not all Ooh, of the remakes TV throw. actually know what their special moves do. Yeah. Dark Samus looking a little a little nice here. Yeah, that was, a, that was a nice little sequence there. Finally uses forward air as well. I tried to challenge the... Oh, oh and then the rolls <laughs> into the up smash. Huge, just... Dominating victory from Cannon. Just not even close. Yeah, it didn't really look like a problem for Ganondorf there. We'll have to see his next matchup. Uh, they almost. Ganon actually did less damage. But he. That's because, that's because he took. 249% to lose a stock one time. And also you can see the the most damage they took from a combo is pretty much the same, but from Ganondorf it was a on the receiving end of a 14 hit combo. <laughs> took 28. Yeah. Dark Samus took 29 from a 2 hit combo. <laughs> and that kind of shows you what what Ganondorf is capable of, you know, 2 hits and you're at 30%. That is that, that's... And that's really, really good in this game, because with, I mean, speaking about uh, player match, uh, player versus player matches, usually getting more hits becomes way more difficult, the more DI every, every person has. But if you can manage to get kills with just a few hits, that's definitely uh, uh, really huge. Or for anyone's game. Yeah. So Wario and Bowser coming up next. Wario and Bowser. I think most people would probably expect Bowser to win this. Um, this Wario. Uh, I don't think it's as lopsided as the predictions make it out to be. Wario, uh, he doesn't know how to recover with his neutral B, obviously. So he might be a bit limited by his recovery distance. You might see him losing some stocks early just from getting caught without a jump we saw like bowser make that crazy jump stealer play against falco oh yeah that was that was crazy like 40 <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> kind of taking out the the people's champion of this tournament falco so far it's probably been the most impressive uh cpu in terms of uh raw entertainment power
Yeah, that was that was a great match too. Bowser made some pretty crazy plays too, so you know we'll see if he can keep that up. <laughs> All right, Jared wants to know Jaime, if he gets anything for here. worst bracket. Yeah. I know you weren't here, Jaime, but seriously, like go back and watch the vod of Falco versus Bowser, because that was easily the set of this tournament so far. Oh, you gotta watch that. It was, it was, yeah, it was really good. Probably some of the craziest things I've ever seen CBUs do. <laughs> All right, here's I, I can imagine the kind of stuff Falco probably did against Bowser because. Oh yeah, Link. The Link comeback was also seen. really good. Yeah, that's true. That would be my number two match. That was really good. I thought, I thought Samus will have. Uh, well, one against Link, but you're saying he came back. It was yeah, it was crazy. Link Link was down. Link was down by two stocks, and then Samus won by two stocks. He had a really oh, crazy or, uh, spring too, then, where he like yeah, then he, he won threw by a boomerang away from himself, and then he did back air to up B, and the boomerang came back around and hit Samus, and then he forward tilted her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wow. spoke. Link was down by two, and then won by two. But yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, I, I imagine Falco doing really, uh, really fun stuff because I've I've seen, I've seen the CPU matches, with, uh, like the like those we did as uh, during the twelve character battles. And I see Fal and I see Falco doing you know, crazy plays up up till into down air or or fair down air or even neutral b neutral b spike upstage. yeah falco had one crazy uh neutral b spike uh combo finisher it was it was just a great set oh. it was it was a great set um I gotta watch. we're gonna get into our final match of the sweet 16 now with wario versus bowser um wario taking this I mean, either way, e either one of them taking this is going to uh, mess up a lot of people's brackets. <laughs> Let's get well, into Bowser it, though. Can take a lot of hits. Uh, Bowser can definitely take a lot of hits from Wario. But Wario using that neutral V. <laughs> All right. Yeah, using the old neutral V. He knows how also, good it is. I yeah. think that's sort of Bowser's biggest strength that he has out of like any of these computers is just his ability to survive for a really long time. Right. Oh, yeah. Until Ganon at 249, I don't think we'd seen anyone get as high up in percent as uh, as Bowser had. In, in the Falcon match, Bowser had multiple stocks where he was over 200. Yeah. Hey, he likes that down B. Yeah, he, he makes good use of it too. Down B and down smash, uh, two moves that I, I think a lot of human players don't use. Uh, as much, but CPU makes good use of them. Wario looking pretty good so far, though. Oh, nice. So the up smash <laughs> kill. This is sort of what we saw with Falco, though, where like Bowser can take loads of hits and then just kind of explosively come out of nowhere. It has really strong moves that can take stops really early, like that up air. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> the set and the second hit of the up air is really strong. Oh, wow. Wario trying to capitalize there on uh, hitting Bowser out of his jump, but couldn't get that last hit to connect. So War Wario, I think, does drift after his up B. I, I think I remember seeing it in one of the uh, previous matchups. Wow, these up smashes. Crazy. Oh, down smash. That down smash covers the whole platform if you do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the up tilt combo. Oh, oh he, he missed the upper. Up hey, Bowser again, he, he's up to 160 already. Looking strong. The backer is going to definitely take it though. That move is really strong. <clears throat> big oh, down big B. Down. <laughs> that also really powerful. Up tilts? Yeah, this. 
<laughs> plat drop fast fall in the air. Oh yeah, not even care of Kurope you can do that. <laughs> Hit oh, he out. doesn't have a jump? Yeah, hit out of the up B. Doesn't matter. Run oh. off down B. We see how much Bowser likes those down Bs. And Wario's recovering towards the platform, so it's giving Bowser that opportunity to edge guard him. Yeah, doesn't he know that Bowser will let him grab ledge for free? Hey, look, he's just going to forward arrow him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he drifts a little bit afterwards, but definitely not enough from all the way out there. Oh, <laughs> Went for a crazy Oh, no, he doesn't have a jump. Oh, wait. I, so, I guess if you get hit early enough in the down B, you don't lose your jump? I don't know when that is, though. Uh, I thought it got hit out of the, like, landing. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no DI He's into the stage feet. there. And it took his jump. Oh, he lost his jump. Yeah. Usually the CPUs are better at DIing that. A huge whiff. <laughs> oh, Wario's kind of all over Bowser this stuck. Yeah, he's done playing games. We just need serious time. If Bowser gets back in control though and he gets those four airs off, it can be just devastating really quickly. He's got him up in the air, yeah, he's hit him off. Let's see if he can get his four air. Oh, just barely gets interrupted. Both of them are pretty close to taking their next stock right now. We see Wario actually pretty well uh, able to survive after Honey, throwing that out. Landed that down smash. Oh. It actually lifted him up over the Bowser up B hitbox. Yeah, that was really good. Oh, it just barely misses his down B. Forward air? No! Oh, wow. Nice down smash from Bowser. He says, Stop it, Wario. Wario answering with a down smash of his own straight away. Just down being oh, nothing. Oh, he did the Yoshi down B. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he just down smash over Bowser's tail? It's pretty close. <laughs> oh, what is this tech chase? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, and he just face. missed right. the up smash. Dash attack. Oh, dash attack is going to do it. Wario's looking surprisingly good here. I do think Wario might be the best bet to uh, to beat Ganon later, but getting through Bowser is crazy. Bowser can still take... Oh, he's getting his big down bees off. But yeah. you see, he's, he's going onto that side platform, so he's getting interrupted by the Wario up B. Edge cancel? Oh, what? Takes another neutral yeah, B. Just, yeah, that's not so. It's like, oh, yeah. For Bowser. He remembered He remembered that he had that move. Yeah. But, like, really, he's just, he takes 14% and then he makes it back. It's not going to kill him for a while. Yeah. Oh, and that's a big hit on Wario. He's going to make it, but only just. So much. Ooh. It's such good drift. Oh, shielded. Bowser's definitely still in this, but it's it's looking pretty rough. He's got to yeah, watch out for those down moves. smashes. Yeah. Wow. Was that Frey? <laughs> Doing <laughs> down air to down tilt? Bad. Oh, he it threw like him he the wrong around. way, but it still it's worked. Still KO. He knew. It's a strong arm. Mario's catching Bowser's down B a lot with, with his up B. Oh, if he forwarded there. Bowser, what are you doing? Ford air him. Oh, F smash. Oh, this move. Oh, I tried to challenge it. 
What? A reverse slap? What is this? This is looking tougher and tougher for Bowser. He jumped over the tail! Oh my god, he's getting so many of these uppies off. Gonna get all of them. I don't feel very good about Bowser taking this one. I think he's, he's in a pretty rough spot. Yeah, he's gonna get... I mean, we've seen what he's capable of. You know, he, you know, he can't ever count Bowser out. But just any moment here, Wario could just take it. Especially oh, if he doesn't Bowser. tech there. Miss tech from Bowser. That's really uncommon for the CP to miss the tech too. It's only a 10% chance. Didn't see Bowser pull out his classic forward to down B combo that time. <laughs> Ah, huge win for Wario, though. Yeah, that was probably pretty unexpected. I don't think a lot of people would have had Wario taking it over Bowser. He did 300% more damage. 300 more percent. Yeah, that uh, that hurts. That hurts a lot of people's a lot of people's brackets. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. So. All right, fine, Wario. Finishing off the top 16, though, huh? We're into the top eight. Yeah, yeah, we made it. We made it to the, the Elite Eight. Mario and Link. Yoshi and Fox. Luigi Ness. Ganondorf well, we got two and Mario. Left in this yeah, project. that's a good that's a good observation. Only two left. And they're going to knock each other out, too. Yeah, there will only be one remix character in the final four. If I had to guess right now, I would say Mario, Fox, Ness, and Ganondorf. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's that's a pretty strong, uh, pretty strong final four there. Um, before we uh, get into those matchups, though, we do have another giveaway to do. Let me uh, set a few things up here. Also, I gotta change. I gotta change a lot of things now. Yeah, I was not expecting. You know, like uh, it's not surprising that Wario got a lot of neutral bees off. Um, I don't feel like they did a lot for him against Bowser, but they could against a character with like a worse recovery for sure. But the up bees, he was getting so many up bees and like downers, uh, and just racking up that damage like crazy. Yeah, it's uh. The way he was catching Bowser with the OBs whenever he landed on the platform was was really crucial for this matchup. That's how Warrior was getting a lot of damage out of Bowser. Just by catching just by catching him on the on the side platforms. And then the the up smashes to punish Bowser's OB, those were really crucial too. So we know what happened to Shears, by the way. I I don't. I have texted him a few times. He's still in the he's still in the to call. Join Jimmy Joe for his nap. Yeah, I I I, I don't know. You're taking a group nap now. <laughs> I I don't know what's happening with <laughs> with either of them. Uh, it's a little annoying. Oh well, you got us here. I know. I know. We could have yes. we could have had so many. Um, let's let's get into the uh, our our round two uh, giveaway here, which is not that one. This one from um, yeah yeah the uh, N sixty four exploded print. Um, you can check out underscore its pair on Twitter and Instagram, and also uh, pear and tangerine on Etsy to enjoy some cool video game art and spruce up your game cave with prints and posters. Uh, I found them on Etsy, but yeah, they are on um, Twitter and Instagram as well. Some really cool stuff. Such uh, a cool print. It's really cool. And they, like I said, they also have other consoles like a uh, GameCube and Sega Genesis and, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, very cool stuff. Let me, uh, yeah, y'all are trying to enter the giveaway, but I haven't started it yet. Jokes on you. I want that print, man. Well, I type it in. The It's Pair giveaway. See, I, I check give everyone their first ticket for free. And then 
I put maximum tickets per user at one. Get wrecked. Create and start. Boom. The giveaway has started. Anyone that wants to enter, do Let's go. exclamation mark ticket uh, to win this <laughs> print. And any of you that don't win it, remember, you can still uh, get it from their shop on Etsy, uh, Pear and Tangerine. And um, right find them on Twitter and Instagram. They have this print and many others. So if you don't win it here for free, Go check it go out. Spend your money. Go spend some money. Pick it up. It's, it's like it's like an eighteen dollar print. <laughs> Come on, guys. No, it's really cool though. Um, I definitely want one of them. I'll probably get one at some point. It's just so cool. Like, look at there's there's so many different things happening in that print. Like there are all, so many games represented. I'm like trying to look at all the different ones now. Like Tur Turok's in there fighting a dinosaur. Probably the most relevant N64 games of the era. Yeah, there's Falcon doing Falcon Punch. I mean, even Conker and the the Great Mighty Pooh are in there. Uh, Marina for I see Marina for Mischief Makers. But yeah, everyone that wants to enter, type in exclamation mark ticket. Exclamation ticket to enter. Conquering Remix would be pretty cool. The image is so small, I can't see all the different games represented in there. We have 21 people in the giveaway right now, but there are 60 of you watching, so I know, I know some of you can still get in on this. Everyone that's already put in tickets is like, no, shut up. Hi, mate, did, uh, you, did you enter? Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Yeah, I really did my, uh, my ticket thing. We got Josh trying to enter more than once. Yeah, everybody, uh, exclamation mark, ticket for a chance to win this poster from Pear and Tangerine. Again, if you like the artwork, they have a lot of stuff like this, so go check it out. Um, go check them out on Twitter and Instagram and Etsy. All right, I'm going to close. Yep. I'm going to close as we have 24 tickets. I'm going to close it. 24? Nice. Unless I enter. Can I? Well, let me. Let's see. I think it let and me. Hey, it did. It did let me. <laughs> che <laughs> cheater. Cheater. All right. I'm going to. hacking. Yeah, I'm hacking. All right. I'm going to end the giveaway. Thank you, everybody. And let's see who it is. Beep person. The winner is Beep person. Oh, congratulations. Beep congratulations person. to Beep. Make sure you message me on... Is Neil, are you on here with multiple accounts or something? What are you doing? Um, make sure you message me um, on Twitter or Twitch or something so I can give you your prize. If you don't message me, then I'll be very sad. Are you in chat, Beep? Where are you? Beep, you won. They're in chat. They said, hey. Oh, okay. Hey. Good, I missed it. All right, good. I'm glad. Yeah, message me on uh, on Twitch or Twitter or Discord or whatever um, so I can get your information and get that prize out to you. Congratulations. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy. And yeah, anyone that like that, like this poster, which I think is basically all of us, uh, check out its pair, check out their store. They got a lot of cool stuff. Mark as complete. All right, we did it. We did it. 
back to the action. Yeah, yeah, just message me. Message me somewhere. Beat. DM me somewhere. Twitch, Twitter, Discord, somewhere. <laughs> I have to be able to talk to you and get your information. But back to the bracket. Uh, our next match is uh -oh. going to be Mario versus Link, our first Elite Eight matchup. Did we get Frey back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Nice. All right. Um, I think I think they're ready. Players are confirmed ready. I think most people are going to see this as pretty favored for Mario. Uh, Link may be a bit of an upset to even get this far. You know, he had that big comeback against Samus. Yeah, that was a big comeback, but that might have just been, you know, Link showing us what he's actually capable of. Yeah, maybe. Especially with these up Bs. Yeah, the, the Link up B is really powerful. Maybe Link is actually the best CPU when he tries. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Isaiah got it from. Also, that F deal is really strong, too. It, yeah, we, I mean, we saw him oh, take a stock with it, and he did not yeah. go off stage with the downer this time. Wow. Oh, and he almost did it again. Oh. Uh, Link, you're really scaring me there. Yeah, he's, he's doing really great. Uh, yeah. But the problem with Link is, like, he could die at any moment. Just by, like, look, he has no jump. It's so dangerous yeah. for him now. Yeah. Mario just... Ending this edge card. And the thing about like, like not having a jump is bad, but it's especially bad when you're Link and your your up B goes like five feet. Yeah. It's just so yeah. bad. Yeah, oh. like I would honestly expect to see Link die more off of not being able to make it back than he dies off of, you know, getting KO'd. I want to know which of the guys on the dev team was just destroying everyone else with Link. And that's and like... Force them to nerf him so much. <laughs> it had to, it had to be. Yeah, and then some crazy European decided, nah, we can't have this. <laughs> Let's make him a little stronger. Ling is too fast in the air. Let's nerf him. Look at these grandma glam boomerang tech chases right now. <laughs> CPU link. Wow. What the hell was this grab? Great was grab. grab. Link's looking really competitive so far. Yeah? That's a, I mean, Mario. it is up a clean stock on Mario. I think that with CPU link is that he, he's using a lot of his good moves, like down air. Really strong to, to get the oh. Yeah. Mario taunts, he knows. He knows. <laughs> He, doesn't even, he doesn't even he look at Link back. and taunts. He turns his back to him and taunts. Oh, he's already dead. We saw Link get some really good conversions, uh, like combo finishers with his uh, his grounded up B. It's also pretty good just to get your opponent off of you if Ooh, you land it. But no, that's another that's quick Mario. one for Mario. What a crazy down smash. Yeah, the CPU Mario is really good at doing those down smashes. Yeah, so like all CPUs will do that down smash, and like when they have a good down smash like Mario or Pikachu, it can be so effective. Yeah. Also, like it's still in there, so. See if you can take this stock out, the boomerang combos. Wow. Ah, is that oh, good? Oh, up here. That worked. Do invisible bomb glitch, Link. <laughs> Come on, you have time. <laughs> oh. Using the downer to poke through the platform. That's a just good strategy. Such innovative strategies from these CPUs. Stuff that we've just never seen before. Uh, and Link got that, that hit you never want on the up B. Uh, that, little, that little weak hit that keeps your opponent close to you. Oh... I still hit. That's a jump. He's gonna run out of forward area. Yeah. Uh, he knows. <laughs> that's it. He immediately taunts right after the forward air. He knows he's already dead. 
Link tried reading a jump there with that high boomerang, but Mario rolled in. And Mario, so far, he's just doing a much better job of uh, punishing Link's up -bees and exploiting his recovery compared to Samus. Oh, the grab Samus off of the boomerang. Wow. Even so, Link is keeping it competitive. Jab grab. I feel like he's probably done more damage than Mario. Oh, double. Yeah, the double. Uh-oh. Jump again. Oh, no. He uses the dash attack that time. If he had done the down smash, that would have been curtains. It's a pretty good up B. Dash if attack. He gets, punish, he gets something. Oh, he's edge guarding. <laughs> he's still keeping this edge guard going. <laughs> Link. Link he is actually edge guarded. Can't think believe it, Link. I, I think that's the first CPU I see actually edge guarding. Like, the, like everyone else just what? goes to the other wow. side of the stage. It's when the CPU is tra is recovering like onto the stage like that, instead of grabbing the ledge, they'll get edge guarded. So that's uh, kind of a downside to some of these bigger recoveries. Is that they... Link is looking... What is he doing? He's going to do this. He's doing all this edge cancel movement now. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> oh, bad boomerang, though. Oh. Bad boomerang. Oh. Gets the forward smash, but that could have oh, been that, a crucial error. That forward like, smash. See how quickly that was huge. Mario takes oh, the box. Like, Mario can just, you know, he can end Link's life really quickly. Link makes a couple of bad mistakes here. It's a good grounded up B to get Mario off. off. It's looking good for Link, though. Fastfall there. Oh, what a way to touch him. Boomerang into dash attack. The last hit of up smash misses. That's always rough. If Link had connected that down smash, that could have been it. Down air. Mario at really high percent now. A lot of moves can end this for him. Uh, wasn't ready, but the up B up takes it, Link! Oh, yeah. 59% <laughs> win for Link with two stocks up left. That is Man, this Link. very surprising. The hero of time. What were the predictions there? Oh, we're still on Yoshi Fox. Oh, we already went to it because it, it ended. I was too late. I don't know what the predictions were for... Uh, I would have definitely expected the predictions to be in Mario's favor. Yeah, pr but... probably like pretty heavily Mario favored. Let's look at Mario the let's look at the damage breakdown. Here. Mario did like no damage. Well, he doesn't need to because it's Link. Yeah, but so... don't forget he did lose by two stocks. Yeah, and uh, Link did a thirty-two percent damage combo at, at one point. That seems to be about the uh, peak that we see is somewhere around 32. Yeah. I think the highest we've seen is like 50. I'm kind of bummed. We haven't seen like any of the, the 20 hit combos, you know, to trigger the incredible. Uh, oh, yeah. Dark Dark Samus is definitely the uh, the character to do it, and we didn't get it. So I'm a little... Yeah, I was expecting Dark Samus to at least get, get it once. Yeah. So coming up next, we have Fox and Yoshi. Yeah. Uh, and I think, you know, like a lot of people... We're probably surprised that Yoshi made it through his first match. Um, and Fox as well. Like, we generally see Fox as being a pretty strong CPU. Uh, he could be a contender to take this whole thing. I'd like but... to point out that there there were five characters that were not picked by anyone to win the whole bracket. And one of them was Link, who's in the yeah. final four. <laughs> Huge upset. <laughs> I don't know how many people had Link in the final four because our our, our bracket guy Shears has vanished. <laughs> right. I don't know where he went. Is his mic still uh, making some noise every now and then? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Probably passed out. <laughs> it's impressive. Um, but uh, yeah, like he's, he's Fox probably is really... telling uh, probably telling people to stop to stop their friendlies. <laughs> this tournament right now. He's, yeah, he's trying to wrangle all these CPUs and get them to play their matches. <laughs> so we uh, we should probably expect to see a lot of up air juggling from both of these characters. Like we saw Yoshi <laughs> doing that a lot against Kirby. Yeah, and I don't think Fox we expected it from Yoshi. Yoshi. Uh, Fox as well, like a staple of the CPU Fox is getting those kills with up air or up smash. 
Uh, another stable can be up BSDs. We only saw one of them in his Pikachu set. Yeah. And hopefully that fortune keeps up for him. He had, he has... I think he had a couple where he would have SD'd, but he traded with Pika and it saved yeah. him. He has to be careful of that. Uh, and then he should be fine. And we did see Yoshi um, against Kirby, a parry shield drop neutral air at one point and a parry up smash. If he can do stuff like that, like he's got a shot against Fox. There's definitely a world where Fox loses this. Couple unfortunate SDs. You know, some big plays from Yoshi. What I'm really hoping for, though, is uh, for Yoshi to show off his tech skill, because we didn't see that. That's true. We didn't get to see it, and I, I think we, we missed out on... Um, one of the best matchups to really showcase that is, is Yoshi versus DK. Um, oh, yeah? But the only way we could have gotten that is if they both made it to the Final Four. Right. But Yoshi versus DK CPUs, one of them, you know, Yoshi under the side plaid and DK on top of it, it's, uh, it's, that is a a real tech spectacle. We got, looks like both players are ready. They're uh, deciding on, on stage right now. And uh, yeah, we'll just get right into this. We have Yoshi versus Fox. See if Fox starts off the match with his classic uh, gun play, get that 6% damage on oh, the board. Yeah. He doesn't! This time. How did he win? Because immediately for the oh. upper. Yoshi with a fast back throw. Oh no! no. Oh, that, that's crucial for Fox. And, and it is j like just as easy for Fox to SD. Uh, so Yoshi, you know, it's not it's not hopeless, but oh man, now oh, I think it might be. I don't know what happened. Yoshi is falling apart already. Yoshi is nah, just I, I... throwing this. Oh, that's a big downer though. There's a lot of damage. Come on, get that up smash. Get something. Oh, Mine's poor Yoshi, him. man. This is, this is looking rough. Got two stocks already. This is looking like a minute. this is looking like a round one pools match. Four <laughs> throw a taunt from Yoshi. It's giving Fox so much room. Oh, what a down tilt though. The oh, classic. Oh no. This is yeah. This is just a beat down right now. I don't think Yoshi has his jump, does he? Oh, he... oh, what is this? <laughs> okay. Finally. Fox loses his first stock, but Yoshi is on the verge of losing his third already. That really that much it, damage. That I strong mean... forward smash connected for Fox. We probably would have seen him die, but there you go, the upper. The upper. Uh... It's sort of Fox's go-to, and already this is looking like a runaway game for I Fox. I mean, yeah, Yoshi's down two stocks, and and those two stocks he really lost after taking like three hits. It's... Yeah, we haven't. We haven't seen any like X factor from Yoshi yet, uh, like any sort of ability to make a big comeback or make a huge play. But yeah. there still is the potential of Fox doing some really bad upbees. You know, you never know. Yeah, I think I think I Yoshi needs that to happen. Oh yeah, shoot your gun. You gotta, Yoshi has to get into the corner if he wants Fox to do that. These dash attacks though. Oh, Shears back? Oh no, I can't. Wow. <laughs> this is maybe the most dominant match we've seen so far. I can't think of anything like this. No, this is this is brutal. This is Getting so some brutal. damage. Yoshi's dodging with his down smash. He dodged one of the blasters. I don't know. Maybe maybe Yoshi. He did it again. He's dodging lasers with down smash. It's possible. Oh, against the it's possible that Yoshi got hurt last matchup and, and just didn't really, you know, didn't disclose it. He might be playing hurt right now because this is, uh, <laughs> it shouldn't be this lopsided. Oh, he doesn't have a jump. He uses the Wizzy down B. Oh, down again. That's, the, that's probably the second time he gets that. Yeah. <laughs> down smash. I, I think that's the armor. third time. Oh yeah, the the one of the I think it was the second stock. Second stock, yeah. yeah. He died so quickly. Don't jump again. Okay. 
Fox doing his up airs. We'll see if Yoshi pulls out that Wizzy down B again. Not gonna happen. Does, Yo it up with an error. does Yoshi what? pull out a Wizzy down B or does Wizzy pull out a CPU down B? <laughs> good point, good point. <laughs> what came uh, first? Oh. One up here. oh, one more. Oh. Man, this looks oh. already better than me. Yeah, oh, wow, it's uh it's been a few years since we've been... since we've seen a five stock. Yeah. Five stock horn. Yeah, yeah where are the oh. where are the conch oh, shells? Stock. Conch shells in chat. Oh, oh no, there's the SD. <laughs> there's, there's this classic up B. Yeah, but still, his, that stock was already too, uh, very damaged, so it's not that bad. Starting a nice up air combo. Five hits. Yeah, she's looking a little better now. Kevin does down beast. Yeah, right leaf flying by in the background. Off smash. <laughs> oh oh wow. Him. What a down B from Yoshi. Ooh, oh, that climbing what? that saved him. Oh. Don't taunt! Don't taunt! You got, you got work to do! <laughs> oh, I can't oh, do it. He's using his down smash laser dodge tech again. <laughs> well, this could be an edge guard. That's the forward air, though. Oh, anything <laughs> from Fox. Nothing <laughs> right in front of him. Just walked up to him, wow. gave him a little kiss. That, just yeah, not even, stock. not even close. That was a, a five minute. That was their first talk of the tournament, right? Yeah, it was almost a five star. It's just insane. Fox just completely yeah, Fox showing dominated. His, uh, showing his power in that. Look, he didn't even do that much damage. Are you sure this is an <laughs> LD play instead of a CPU? <laughs> like Yoshi just had all those like super early deaths, and Fox only did 566 damage to him. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, it's all the way around. Yeah, it's the other way around. But uh, it's some big combos in that too. Like 4037, like. Also, Yoshi like, died really early. Yeah. That, that, that smashes. <laughs> the 40 <laughs> damage uh, combo that must have been that Yoshi down air. Uh, that he got off. Chat, really chat's, on. chat's thinking that uh, Shears' mysterious absence, uh, coupled with the Yoshi's SDs here, is a little, a uh, little too coincidental. <laughs> Might be onto something. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's look at what we got here. So, one more character. Moving on, Yoshi just getting absolutely stomped. So, yeah, you hate to see it on it. Yeah. Yeah. He came out here, did his best, you know, he got the upset on Kirby. But he just he just couldn't hang. Like he got he got that upset, but the talent talent was too much for him. Farther in bracket. So Luigi and Ness coming up next. Yeah, Luigi Ness. Um two a, a few people, I think three brackets had Luigi go in the distance, a couple brackets had Ness go in the distance. Um, I believe in this. I think he should take this, but Luigi's a bit of a wild card. You know, you saw that up B he got against Falcon. Yeah, and uh, he's coming off a uh, a pretty strong victory over Falcon, where he he was able to take advantage of a, a you know a weak recovery. And I mean, Ness yeah, is isn't yeah. Ness is isn't great either. Distance. What are you talking about? Ness is a huge recovery distance. Well, the distance, yes. yeah, the distance is is good. Yeah, I guess that's that's what it came down really to was the distance. Yeah. Unless like he can he was... somehow get Ness low, but that doesn't really happen. Also, there's there's this thing where the CPUs usually wait for Ness on side platform, and they get hit for it because oh yeah, Ness it's so funny. Be... Where they roll. Just... <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't yeah, know, but now right. you know Ness Ness showcased uh, that 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 tech where you stand on the side plat and you just grab them. <laughs> so Luigi, you know, Luigi might have been watching that. Probably. We'll see. Luigi's just just wild. Alright, you guys were right. Dave said he fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, guys. 
Welcome back. So uh, I got Jaime in here right around the time that uh, you went away. So oh, perfect time. Perfect. It's a good timing. <laughs> we uh we gotta we we gotta we gotta get JJ in here for the final four though. Yeah, let me. I gotta go wake him so up. So we got we got a couple of matches before the final four. So we'll get through those, and then you can go you can go wake him up. Um, <laughs> uh, Neil's asking how we're choosing the winning bracket. Uh, it's typically just most correct matchups, right? Most correct, yeah. most correct scales. So like obviously picking the winner is more valuable than picking like the first round pick. Right. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we have to, we have to output the scoring system. Everything was submitted as an image. So it's like the. The, the real time calculation isn't really there. I kind of was just doing a couple by myself. I just like, you know, I pulled, plucked out a few brackets and looked through stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have the results when we post it probably until tomorrow or so. But um, yeah, yeah, definitely we'll, it'll get posted not today. Just to speak a few, um, we've got basically Link and Fox in the final four. Uh, a notable bracket. Uh, Lodo has Fox as uh, in his in his final two with Dark Samus. Um, obviously, Dark Samus being out as winner, that kind of busts his bracket. But then we've got Wookie, who has Fox versus Dark Samus as his final match with Fox winning. Uh, still has Fox in there, so Wookie's looking pretty good there. Uh, a lot of other brackets are totally busted. Bark Sanchez, who still has a Luigi wing at all, is still alive. And uh... yeah, I think uh, there's gonna definitely have to be some sort of scaling system because yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, there's a lot of brackets that only have this link. Like Link didn't go far for like almost anyone. While there's a lot of Fox winners, Link getting to the final four is not a lot of brackets, and that's gonna bust a lot of people. Yeah. Very few people are even really still alive at this point. Link's had a couple of great matches. Uh, let me see. He's, pretty, he's looking pretty good. I need to set up the next match. Next match is Luigi versus Ness. Oh, and you know what? Home field advantage for Luigi here. So, it might uh, be just enough. Marcus Aurelis has a uh, Link, Fox, Ness, and Gandorf in his final four, so he's still alive. Wow. He has Ness winning it all, so this will come down to his bracket. here. All right, well, let's uh, we'll get into this matchup. Now we got Luigi and Ness. And uh, let's do it. Pretty good start for Luigi. He hasn't taken anything yet. Going for the up B. Oh, what a way to stop the yo yo. What he, what he really wants to like watch out for, though, is getting above Ness. That's going to be a problem. Yeah. Ness gets his, you know, his up air started. Uh, he can rack up a lot of damage pretty quickly. Wow, he got the oh. grab? Yeah. Might be in a position to edge guard with a down smash. He went for it. <laughs> it was too far from Luigi. Oh, he rolled into the down smash, and that's the first stock. Yeah, I don't. Okay, here we are. I don't know how many people have Wario in. See what Ness can do. Hasn't taken a lot of damage yet. He's still got an opportunity to just even up the count. What the? What, what was what that? Was that, that Backward cancel? drifting edge cancel from Luigi. <laughs> Don't see that every day. Enough smash ought to do it though. Yeah, Ness only took 12%. Yeah, so. it's, it's good for, for Ness. Not a huge deficit. Whoa! Oh, Whoa. <laughs> Don't see that one too often. Luigi <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. No fear. 
But the question is, can Luigi win by doing absolutely nothing? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe not in this game. He up tilts him out of the up B. What? And then combos into up air? This is, this is the Ness we expected to see. This Ness is showing us so many new ways to beat up specials that we never thought of, dude. Grab <laughs> Ness out of his up B. Up tilt Luigi out of his up B. Does he have his jump? He does. Oh, he's in his upper zone oh, now. The juggles. Luigi's trying to escape. Oh, he just didn't do it there. Oh. The PK fires bait. For some weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire bait. It's bait. I think Luigi has a jump. Oh, he just missed See, the uh, up smash that time. Positioning himself pretty well to like cover Luigi's up B without putting himself in danger. He watched like right to the uh, edge of that side platform. He watched the tape. That's it. Not looking really good for Luigi. That instant stock <laughs> off spawn. So if Luigi wins this, there's no bracket that would have all four of the winners left. Wow. We've got uh, eight brackets that have Link and Fox in their final. Final four, but no one's too easy. And like, it does seem like most people oh, are aware of the stuck. fact that oh. CPU is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's it's like something I've mentioned over the last like three weeks since I announced the event. I was like, do not sleep on Nest CPU. He's like, really good. <laughs> yeah, just the way his uh, his approaches are timed, the attacks that he has, they're all pretty. Solid for being a CPU that up smash and it's also like one thing that a lot of people don't consider is it's it's about how the CPUs play against each other not how they play against people Yeah, necessarily you have some that do do well against both like Captain Falcon, but ooh, Falling up here Ness is looking really strong. He's barely taken any damage this entire Luigi stock Yep Luigi's on the brink of death here Ness lets him back does the slow get up roll? There you go. Down smash will do it. That down smash is a really good tool for us here. It's got so much reach. Yeah, and it's, so much duration. It's really good like that, uh, like that that CPU Nest doesn't use his forward smash, he but instead uses down and up smash, and it's very fortunate for him because those are definitely the better options against CPUs. Yeah, against anything really. Back into his rocker juggling. Oh, he went for a PK fire. He's still, he's coming at he's Luigi so hard right now. <laughs> so aggressive. Yeah. Oh, that was a good up B off the ledge from Luigi there to get back on the stage, but rolls oh, into. Oh, he roll into the W. Genesis roll chase. That's the thing. This is down smash being long lasting, high range, and hitting on both sides is huge for him just like catching people on platforms. Yeah, and it's strong too. Like it's a killer. It's like a better version of DK up tilt. <laughs> a way better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and Ness is just destroying Luigi. Gonna be another four stuck? We haven't seen Luigi get a single up B off here. Like no. I think it probably like it would have been harder uh, for Ness to succeed if Falcon had made it through. But uh, yeah, I agree. That I think that was a match I thought would be pretty tough for Ness, but. Luigi did him a favor. Yeah, just not having any trouble here. So in control with these up airs and down smashes. Is that it? It? No! So oh, close. Stale. It's a little stale now. Now it's super it's like stale. One or two more. <laughs> Probably one more will do it. Next, next one might do it. Oh, he went for the back air that time. Oh, he's about to get... What? What? <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> That's it. Well, then, Another four stock. Mark Sanchez's bracket is toast now. Just got busted. He and Luigi went it off. <laughs> Josh still saying he wants to see who has the worst bracket. Yeah, a lot. A lot of people have asked about the worst bracket. Oh, that's gonna be a tough one. Jared, apparently, Probably mine. Apparently, Jared sent me his on Facebook, and it, it's a contender for worst bracket. So we still have a lot of like, Gannon. Is a lot of people, right? Uh, yeah. Dark Janice is the number two, which that's out. Fox number three, 
most selected, still in. Bowser, number four, is out. Ness, number five, still in. Kirby, out. Wario is still in. Uh, Young Link out. Luigi out. Yoshi out. DK out. And so at that point, we've only got a few brackets to have winners left. I think uh, yeah. I only had okay. Ness, Deep Fox, four. and Ganondorf so, in my top there's four. There's a bunch of brackets that still have this, this three of these four in, right? So they're waiting yeah. on this final round, which almost everyone kind of is a consensus of Ganon getting to this far. Right. Uh, so there's still Hopefully a couple... Link, final, that's the underdog here. There's still a couple perfect final... final excuse me, final fours left over. So. <laughs> All right, Jared said that on the left side of the bracket, he had two total picks that were right. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so... Yeah, next match. Uh, it's our last, uh, our last match of the Elite Eight uh, with Ganon, the heavy favorite uh, against Wario, who had a strong showing against Bowser. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, a little it. bit unexpected there. I think most people saw Wario as uh, the underdog going into that set. Oh, well, that needs to get updated. Especially, you know, after Bowser's performance against Falco, uh, you saw that you know he could, he's capable of taking loads of hits and then just turning it around suddenly but he just that never happened against wario and wario stayed in control with those up bees especially racking up so much damage uh, Whoops. i guess we'll have to see what happens with ganondorf you might see that uh that too as well in this matchup wario doing those up bees as as soon as uh as soon as ganondorf touches a side platform that yeah they get a lot of damage to ganon we but saw if he's him. not careful, he could get hit by that down B spike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Down B spike, and he might, might get that, that really good. We saw uh, Wario connecting with a lot of up smashes and down smashes last game. Yeah, up tilt as well sometimes. Yeah. One of Wario's sort of weaknesses, um, a lot of his moves have like shorter range but longer duration, and that kind of gets flipped on its head in CPU battles to where the range... Maybe isn't as important because they just go into each other. Like having those long uh, lasting moves can be really helpful. All right, also, so it's looking like Mario... Ganon's slight favorite here. It's 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 a, gonna be a close one for sure. Also, CPU Wario is not gonna use Neutral B to recover. Right, he won't use it to recover, yeah. but he has such good like aerial drift that he hasn't really been too far away from the edge to grab it yet, I don't think. He's always managed to get back. Yeah. That's um, really huge. Let's, yeah, let's let's get into this, I think. I think the players are ready. Wario Ganon. Look at that Wario. <laughs> that, that bicep. It's huge. Yeah. See if he wants to show it off to Ganondorf. <laughs> Not a good trade to Ganon start. Ganon does so much damage. Yeah. Ganon does so much damage on a few hits, and his CPUs like it's not hard for him to get those few hits. That everyone's at kill percentage very, very quickly for against Ganondorf. Oh, he just he waited it out. Oh, nice coverage on the roll, though, for Mario. Edge carding with the neutral B. <laughs> yeah, that, that Wario up B just or, looks pretty Wario difficult for the CPUs to interrupt. Big, a big upset to a lot of brackets, not only because Ganon is such a big winner, but none of the people who have three of the final four left have Wario winning. They all have, if I remember correctly, they all have Ganon here. So, Wario winning would basically put Preston as one of the top contenders for a bracket because he has a word of winning. Yeah. And there's, and, there's a couple other people. There's a couple other people who are winning it all, but most of the people who have like good brackets right now. Oh, the trade. That's a hell of a trade. trade. Yeah, that's a great trade for Wario. Oh, but he gets him with the big fork slam down. The fork, yeah. the forkward smash? <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's one way to identify it. <laughs> Nice roll to dodge that forward smash. Wario does a lot of up <laughs> like Yeah. Too heavy yeah. on him, but he's got a long stage. What does he do? Oh, no, no, it's not going to be good. 
Kind of reminds me of the way we saw Young Link playing it. But somehow Wario doing a much better job. Oh, jeez. Oh. The aggression from uh, Ganondorf right now. Ganon was able oh, to no, catch uh, Dark oh, yeah, Samus too. with a, uh, a Warlock Punch. We'll see if he can That's do it, though. That's back here, taking that stock there by Wario. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, he really yeah. challenged it. <laughs> they... Warlock Punch right down to him. They don't know. I don't know about the armor. I don't know the CPUs learn. He also <laughs> jumps like he, uh, side views. He always jumps. Oh. Yeah, they, they do it standing uh, rarely, but it, it happens. I don't think they ever do uh, grounded down B, like uh, Ganon and Falcon. I think they always jump for it for some weird reason. Still pretty close, but Wario's kind of been in control this whole game so far, just like slightly ahead. Oh, and that the fork just missed. Can all change so quickly, though. One Warlock punch or up tilt from Ganondorf. He just dodged both hits of the down smash. <laughs> That's huge. Some LZ rolls right now. And this percentage. Oh, nice what? Oh, the what movement? <laughs> we see a vade with side B just to jump back on stage with down B for the kill. Oh, oh, oh he's got enough bottom. Dead even, four stocks apiece. Yeah, this can go both ways. What are you doing, Ganon? Oh, no. <laughs> not, not that way. He's getting punished a lot for these uh, down bees as well. Like, he'll hit Wario with the down bee and then Wario will tech and punish him or something. Oh, another oh, punch! Oh, oh, another oh, punch! Oh, Out of nowhere. Oh. The Warlock Punch is too strong, and the, these CPUs don't know how to get around it. Oh, not down smash. Oh, that's the first Oh, down tilt the forward air! <laughs> Ganon knows. Dash attack? Oh, too late. He countered it. Countered with his head field. A oh, DI. Nice DI. Yeah. Nice, yeah, nice DI to get out and survive that. Uh, the big forwarder. Mario's gonna yeah. make it. Yeah, He's going for side plot now. Ganondorf with the oh. OP. He's all over right now. Forder. Oh, oh, another whoa! Oh, again. <laughs> another oh. down B. All out of the roll of down B. <laughs> Mario doing a good job at avoiding Ganondorf's respawn invincibility there. <laughs> yeah. Not many not many human players are able to do it. It's ahead by a full stock though. <laughs> yeah. Just looking a little bit difficult for Wario. Full stock leader for Ganondorf. Be a little battle to climb. I mean ups, like comebacks aren't huge in CP oh. battles, I feel like all of the AI that leads to a lead kind of keeps the lead, you know? Yeah, we've had a, we've had a few pretty good comebacks so far, but for the most part, it doesn't happen. The only really notable one was Link against Samus. Yeah, I mean that was huge. And that was mostly just Link SDing the first two stocks. Uh, I don't Wasn't remember. It? I don't remember. Yeah, he was the twice. Uh Oh, that 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 that, that hook that hook I might have sealed it. Yeah, it's gonna be the, the, now coming back from this is almost impossible. Down B doesn't take the stock. Also, <laughs> down B. Take Chase side B. I like it. I like it, Wario. Yeah, Wario's gonna have to take the stock like now and then get lucky with an SD or something. But it is not looking pretty. Two up B's in a row from Ganon. Already, five percent. Already at seventy four. So much You're momentum bad. right now. Finally, it's a back throw in, though. That was good. It's, it's all that momentum. <laughs> Mario's looking all right, though. Ooh, oh, be careful. Oh, How, close. How many can he dodge? I'm getting a lot off of these four dares. Ganon's up B is really good for CPU battles. Like, he just sucks people in, does damage. 
It's funny you say that, but like Falcon missed a billion of them. Oh, he's, there we go. This is a little bit different. So, so Ganon takes this game. This is a little bit different. Um, um, I feel like Ganon's has super armor in the beginning, right? I mean, maybe really only the ground, only the grounded version, and it's grounded intangible. But he does, he does a lot of grounded versions. That allows him to kind of almost, we could say, like parry someone else's attack. Just to, I don't think he, I don't think he got that a single time. I know what you're talking about. And it is really good. It's just not something the CPU takes advantage of. Dude, pretty good. a handful of, of perfect of stats stats right now. Yeah, yeah, stats, my man. Uh, most of them have... So you got a Ness, a Ganon, a Ganon, a Fox, a Ganon, a Fox, a Ganon. I see Ganondorf again with the 29% damage two-hit combo. <laughs> was, that down, was that down tilt forward air? Uh, maybe. Let me, let me see if I can wake up JJ for the final four. Yes, please. <laughs> we are in round four. Final four. Let's take a look at our bracket. We have Ganon moving on. Dominant victory over Wario. <laughs> These guys. And actually, all right, I got a celebrity guest. We got Jimmy Joe. Oh, look who it is! Do you have a webcam on right now? No, 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 there's no camera. Don't worry, Jimmy Joe. It's just the audio. It's just the audio. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put pants on. Da, 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 here we go. <laughs> also, if you want a beer, we got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's turning into that it's turning into that kind of stream. I knocked out for like an hour or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Um, I do have one. Actually, we have two more giveaways. Um, this next one, though, let me uh, let me pull this up for you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute Dave because he can't be quiet. Um, so our second to last giveaway, uh, working out of Buffalo, New York, NJJ Studio has quite the array of video game and comic-themed artwork. Uh, also the author of the DSR, Deep Space Rescue, graphic novel series. Uh, be sure to check them out on Etsy and Patreon at NJJ Studio. Uh, very cool. They have a ton of really cool art. And they got back to me, and they are giving us this uh, Blacklight uh, Mario painting. Um, very cool. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure how big it is, but yeah, super cool painting. Um, NJJ studio, make sure you go look them up. Uh, tons of cool video game and comic themed art. They're also, I mean, you know, back, uh, before the world moved on, uh, before 2020, he was at a lot of the, um, conventions around the East coast. Uh, the giveaway has not started yet. You will you will know when it has started. Um, you gotta be patient. Mario painting giveaway. Maximum tickets one. Create and start. All right. So the giveaway has started. Anyone that wants to get in on this uh, exclamation mark ticket exclamation ticket. Um, and again, make sure uh, if you like this painting, make sure you check out um, NJJ Studio. Um, let me find. Oh, you know what? He actually gave me a video. I'm going to play it real quick. All right, find it. I like this art. It looks like he's about to back throw you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's this. <laughs> Let's, hopefully it's not too loud. Sorry if it is, guys. Yeah. So yeah, Patreon. Yeah, he has really good art. Um, definitely check them out. That was uh, patreon.com slash NJJ studio. Um, I found them on Etsy under NJJ studio. Um, and they're on Instagram under something else. I forget. 
But yeah, a lot of, a lot of really cool stuff. So everybody make sure you join that giveaway. It is our second to last giveaway. We have one more before the finals. So don't go anywhere. I see 19 people in the giveaway. 20. Remember, exclamation mark ticket will uh, enter you in this giveaway. Give you guys a little bit more time while I set up the next match. Hey, Fox, home field advantage again. You know what? Final four needs to be played on neutral setting. You know, actually. There we go. All right, I'm going to close the giveaway. Uh, last chance. Exclamation mark ticket gets you entered for a chance to win this painting from NJJ Studio. Last chance, everybody. All right, closing it. And let's see who gets it. Frey! Frey sure is the winner. Nice. Congratulations, Frey. Frey, you can practically drive over to this guy and pick it up. He's in Buffalo. <laughs> Uh, okay. It's like an 18 hour drive. Wait, I don't know why I thought you were closer to New York than that. Oh, you're like, I forgot. You're like super, super East. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Not, you're not Toronto. <laughs> it's 16 hour drive. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Ah, it's only 16. Come on. Um, yeah, very I, cool. I, I didn't think it was 18. So yeah. Hit, um, well, uh, we'll talk later. We'll get, I'll get your, your info. And uh, he'll get that painting shipped out to you. Cool. Really cool. Um, congratulations to Frey. Yeah, yes. unexpected. Uh, I guess Just I wait until I win the next one. I'm gonna unmute. I'm gonna unmute Shears now. <laughs> Shears and JJ are back. We're back. We're JJ's back. up. Hey. Top of the morning to you. Look at that! We got we got the whole crew here now. <laughs> Look at us Finally, play. here in uh, the really amazing uh, Smash Remix Arena. It's, yeah, it's look at the size of that crowd. It's imp it's impressive what uh what the team has done with the place. Really is, it really is. I mean, we it's got nice Smash Remix Arena, and we've got we've got Frey and Jaime, you know, in the the Smash Remix Studio holding it down. Oh, yeah. Looking good there, Jaime. Yeah, when I was younger. <laughs> Every picture is when you were younger. <laughs> Technically. That's what you're saying. There's no future picks. That would be impressive, though. <laughs> the last prize is playtester access for Goku. <laughs> 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 Thought we said we were gonna talk about that on the stream. Yeah, crap. <laughs> I can't tell don't talk about that, man. Don't, don't leak. The leaks. The leaks. No, I, I already, I already spoiled it and told everyone that uh, the Blue Falcon was gonna be playable. All right, let's uh, let's look back at the bracket real quick. Um, of course, I have to have the page active. But our first matchup in the final four is going to be Link and Fox. Link, the uh, Cinderella story of this tournament for sure. Uh, huge comeback against Samus and then the upset against Mario. Um, pretty much nobody expected Link to be here, but here he is. So do you think people ran uh, simulations and kind of had a good idea of what was going to happen? I think an alarmingly low number of people that submitted did any sort of thinking about it i think i just went by the heart I know. <laughs> hey everyone kind of knew jigglypuff wasn't going to make it yeah that's that's fair 
Yeah, they at least I think like, probably like they, quite a few people. Out. Quite a few people would have had three of these characters: Fox, Ganon, and Ness. In yeah, there's actually about I want to say like almost eight brackets. Well, we can count some of that eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I have seven brackets up, and all of them have this final. Point. Wow, nobody thinks Link's gonna win. Nobody, no. nobody has hope on Link. That's rough, Come on, guys. I mean, we saw the way Fox was playing against Yoshi. He's pretty hot right now. It's true. Um, Link, Link has had a, you know a lot of time to to watch watch that Fox match and and go over it and see if he can find some strategy to 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 combat this this Fox. <laughs> With these power mutual odds right now, if you got a Thunder account, just go put like one point on Link and you're going to win everything else. <laughs> the <laughs> odds are pretty zero. So you might have to put a dollar and just make a bunch of money, you know? Oh, yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's get into it. I think I think everything is ready. Yeah. Uh, Link versus Fox. We're going, we're going to... Um, New stages now for our final four. Laser for good luck. Best stage in the game. It's a beautiful stage. Oh, shiny. <laughs> oh, Link gets him out of a B, though, but not enough to get him off stage. Otherwise, you know, we're going to jump. Dude, those standing lasers look like they were coming up quick. Yeah, I know. Is this a for us? <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that smash in the cloud in the air. Oh, here come oh, the up airs. That's the thing that all the CPUs do. They yeah. all flash right now. It's, I think CPUs have like an incredible. Uh, if, if, the tra if their trajectory, if they know like you're coming straight at them, they have like perfect timing of whatever they're going to hit you with. Unless you're recovering and then they just like forget how to play. I grab it to CPU with the top. Oh, the reflecting. Somehow Link gets a shield out. Yeah. That's close. Oh, up Another up B. Looking to take the first edge stock guard. here. Edge guard. On edge oh, guardable. Yeah. He actually went for a forward tilt. On the taunt. Link, oh, you got to you gotta, gotta edge guard him, man. This is the problem. <laughs> gotta let him back again. Fox is such a good ledge grab reach that the CPUs never take advantage of just doing a dash attack at the stage. Yeah, it, like, Link just oh, won a... Oh, up God, man, up smash. Man, up smash and up, and up beat. Right there. Call that was up. dirty. Sometimes you get... You see something, like, when the CPU's playing, you're like, that. Okay, and that's cool. actually a move that I've seen a bunch of CPUs do where they, they catch a jump in with an up smash. Uh, I've seen like like Fox and Pika and Mario and wow, I thought Link was going off stage with that yeah, down air. Yeah, that looks almost like an SD. Link pulled back though, peeled back to recover. But even stocks. How is he getting these shields off? Yeah, great fast <laughs> shield. What the heck? Like he knows there are other reflectors coming out and shields inside. Uh oh. Although Link brought back the percent lead. Uh, got a lot of damage on Fox. Plot drop up B? What? <laughs> oh. The little slide off? I, don't even, I have no idea what made him slide oh, off. There. He caught. Didn't catch the double jump, though. Oh, Fox. Is it, yeah. Oh, what a oh, down smash. That, that down smash is huge. It looked Crazy like. Play. I think Link was, uh, you know, trying to bait out oh. the, uh, the up B SD from Fox, but. Oh, it's an old-fashioned five-stock game. Here we go. We almost had a five-stock earlier. I mean, you just both characters were zero. I know, I know. Fox, Fox, Fox almost five-stock Yoshi. Really? Yeah, it was bad. Ooh, I thought Fox was going down there. Yeah. Man, Link really with a lot of up -bees. I mean, we saw this with Young Link, too. We saw this with Dr. Mario. I feel the character. I mean, Fox also is doing it a ton, but it doesn't seem as all all the, all the CPUs do it a lot, Ex yeah, except like, for like Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff definitely does the fewest up bees, and Pikachu because doesn't you know do damage. Because <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, well, it's, it's a battle bee. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of a lot of these up bees, and with Link having a strong up bee, it pays off. Oh, he he tried him. to die there. He <laughs> saved him. Big, big hitbox and it kills. 
Surprisingly, it doesn't seem like Link's terrible recoveries affect him that much. Like, no, the yeah. CPUs don't take advantage of it. And, uh, that Fox was saved by the bad that bad hitbox of the Link's up B. Yeah, that wind hitbox on his feet. Fox could him. take advantage of it though. We saw him get those like down smashes off. Oh, of shield, shield break? Oh, no. oh my gosh! Bad, right? He's like breaking shield. <laughs> like, a what? B? Oh, and he another. Oh, save. Damn. Another. The tech chases. He saved Whoa, him. Do it again. <laughs> Gets the edge guard. Off the B. That album. He's stops. invincible, Link. You can't hit him. So Link doesn't really forward air. Like we haven't really seen a lot of forward yeah. Link here. I saw him miss a forward air, but he doesn't do a ton of them. Yeah, it's a, well, it's a slow move for him. So maybe it's just the the AI tells him to do a faster move set options. Like uh, I mean, he's just up being every time he needs to. The so weak smash. reverse up smash. <laughs> Can't believe that. Bile. I hope he's gonna cost him. Link desperately needs uh, an SD from Fox here. Oh, he's got Fox off stage. A shine wow. follow up. Nice shine there. Oh, he's got oh. A, the laser shield pressure. What are you doing, Link? This Link looks lost. Yeah, it's not going too well for Link right now. Even if he takes this, he's still almost a full stock behind. He needs an SD from Fox. He needs to stop attacking fo attacking Fox during his invincibility. <laughs> I think Link can just get a couple hits on there and bring it back. The ledge cancels! <laughs> what a legend! Fox, what oh, are you doing, that, my man? That hashtag hitting would have put Fox off stage and Link in a better damage position, you know? Wow, and Link's oh, still alive. Yeah, Link's a bit heavy. Oh, so no, 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 Fox does not have a jump. Combo. They're both in similar death kill percentages. Link is... Link's bringing this back! Dash attack misses. He goes right under him. He had it. I love it how fast he is with his shield. Like, that's insane to me. He literally throws a boomerang at Fox, gets reflected, and still gets off the shield. Did not get off. Oh, he just jumped oh, right yeah, into that up air. Link he had, had, away from times up two stocks piece. had so many good opportunities to take a lead. Down air right through there. the platform. Yeah. There yeah. it is. Almost. And now forward. Forward. Yeah. Basically, I need what a matchup. Uh oh. Time. No, Link! No! 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 <laughs> oh, he was so far away. He almost made it back. Yeah, not looking good for Link anymore now that he lost that uh, lost that stock on the SD. Uh, Fox can SD at any moment, though. Yeah, Fox can. Oh, the grabs. Has he? We haven't really seen Fox SD. Not since the, the first game. Yeah. So it's really feeling like Fox has kind of got this under control. He's had like one SD in every game, I think. But yeah, it's not been so bad. And then this time he almost had one, but he he edge canceled it. Oh no! There oh, there it is. is. It's got high percent. Anything could happen. Oh no! The last they crawl right back. Yeah. There's one more of those. Link wants to be in the I, corner. I, I, That's I, 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 zone. By a lot. They look nervous. They're like rolling around each other. <gasps> no <laughs> way! <laughs> no way! Oh, <laughs> Link! I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? No! no! Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fox barely takes no way. All right, that keeps a lot of people's brackets good, though, I guess. What a run from Link. Though. What a run Give from a Link. Link. Yeah. I think uh, I think I think Link converted a lot of people uh, this tournament. I'm a believer now. I know. I, I definitely. I, I I wanted to see him take it there. I wanted to see him go all the way to the finals. Because yeah, also, we did have a guy who had uh, H Coon. I don't I don't really know uh, who he is, but H Coon had Link in the finals. So his bracket 
he still has Gandalf winning it, but that's kind of throws that out. Yeah, and we could have had the the canon match like Link versus Ganondorf in the finals. Oh, we have a, yeah, we have a decent number. We have a decent number though of uh, people with Fox in the finals. Wow, um, they almost so, did the exact same amount of damage. While there's been the upsets and a lot of brackets are totally busted, Ganon still being alive and Fox being in the finals is about 25% of the brackets still still there. So. It's interesting. I'm surprised that Ness made it this far. I mean, I didn't run any simulations, but I guess he has ne technically a good recovery. Ness is a good CPU. Yeah. He can, get, he can recover from pretty far away, I guess, because without the edge guarding of a human brain. Ganon and Ness. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we're... We're almost there. We have one more match. Let's see what people are thinking about this. Pretty even with the uh, the votes, but a lot more money on Ganon. Definitely more confidence in Ganondorf. Probably because of his strong aerials. He's able to get, to get, get KOs way easier. But I don't know. Ness, Ness has yeah, some Ness pretty freaking good aerials. Better. That's up smash and down smash. It's really good on CPU battles because CPU just run into it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I guess we'll, we'll get this underway. We have our last final four match of the I didn't update it, people. I should probably do that, huh? <laughs> Had to happen. I knew I was forgetting something. I made it this far. Yeah. Mm. There's something about heavy CPU. It seems like heavy CPUs do better as well. Definitely. It, it, it certainly helps. Heavy CPUs and CPUs that have a good recovery distance where they can just make it back to the stage and they don't have to worry about dying in the way that Link did in the yeah. last set. Let's, uh... Oh, Link made it pretty far. Yeah. Beginning from the top the Link was big. Big way, to, big path to get there. Despite Some like big things we could see happen here are like any any warlock punches from Ganondorf mm -hmm. or any uh, up B hits from Ness. Yeah, yeah, those are definitely like the X factors of oh, the game. Starting with the fist. Ness has no jump. Oh, he went for that <laughs> oh, spike. Oh, recovery! What was that? And he didn't even turn around with it. What is happening? <laughs> that's just. That's just BB Thunder. Just wow. Oh, that was off. What, what just happened? That was like an, oh, that was an in. insane 10 seconds. Oh, nice walk away. <laughs> he just oh, grabs him. Grab the command. That's so good. Why is Ness so good at, at grabbing people's up Bs? He just knows how strong his throw is. Oh, the down tilt! The... Um, so the armor runs out before the hitbox comes out, right? Really? Uh, oh. It might be the same frame. It might be. I think he might have actually been like too deep inside of Ganondorf to get hit by it. So if you put a drill on Ganon during the Warlock Punch, can you cancel it or something? Possibly? I, I, I need, a, I need oh, to look this. it up. But I feel like if I pull up my spreadsheet, I'll lag the game, so I just won't bother. <laughs> yeah, you can't have net play lagging. Yeah, not on the CPU center. Well, no, it's like the yeah. frame rate. Damn. Oh man, these down tilts. He's dodging the down tilts. The rolls. Literally dodged both the down tilts, transferred the rolls, and then just grabbed a kill. Oh, he didn't kill him. Oh, combo. Oh, he's doing the standard. See if Ness can get some juggles going. Wow, he hits the a great he fire. hits the PK fire. No See, jump for Ganondorf. On Ganon, but he's not getting the kill. Oh. He's, uh, he's got to get something bigger here to get the kill. Ganon's heavy. What wow, did, what did DJ see there? That was great. I'll tell me. I'm told trades and no, another Nair. But Ganon is back. Is no, he, he, the CPs don't drift enough. Oh, that's a big down smash. Oh, he's he's a up a full there. stock, yeah. Well, thanks to that spike he got near the beginning. Yeah, that was huge. Really yeah. Oh, Ness on the offensive now. 
Ooh. He keeps just oh, putting he, that he, out there. He, he, down B. He's getting some really safe up airs off. Does he grab? Is Ness gonna grab here? Come on, Ness. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, down smash. Up. Great on the roll. <laughs> nice. Oh, I just missed that up tilt. No. Ooh, Ooh got the shield out, though. Be careful, Ness. Oh, no jump. He punch, did it. Dude. He jumped Warlock Punch? How took that think? whole stock and only took 70% damage. Yeah, he barely got hit right there. He really brought it back. What? What is going on? I, that's like what happened at the beginning of the first stock. <laughs> Ganon just start, like, started attacking the PK fire. <laughs> he doesn't care. Uh-oh. Oh, he turned Warlock. around that time. <laughs> Oh, up tilt. I think he wanted an up smash there. Ooh, Miss input from Ganon. Up tilt too, just be the down beat. This is close. Dude, oh, just he's just there, right around there. Pushed Ganon off. Ness's push off DJC <laughs> Nairs are so good. I don't think it's a jump. He doesn't have a jump. Oh, man. He's edge guarding him so well. You just grab Ooh. ledge, Ganon. Oh, nice ledge. Yeah. Stay alive. Oh, nice roll. This is really doing a good job of playing around the warlock punch so far. Oh, and the tilt! Oh, the tilt. Oh, the tilt. Oh, the tilt. <laughs> what an edge guard! Oh, yes. <laughs> the damn sneaker. Oh, look at that! Back to years, by the way. She's dead even at three stocks apiece. Tech chase PK fire though. I don't know, Ness is looking good. I really like Ness here. He's he's just pummeling that oh, Ganor in a way. Ganor gets good stocks because he does so much damage and he's really so strong. But Ness is doing a lot of work here. That four <laughs> up there. Come he on. The heart of a champion. The heart of a champion. The heart of a champion. I think he's had some really good roles too. Ness's roles I like, helped him out a lot. He's a smart roller. Well Ganon also Ganon has bad roles. Because he has Falcon. So he gets his edge guard off. It's Falcon's oh, he goes for an up smash. Oh, if he down smash there, would have been it. Up oh, the juggle. Oh, up there kills. Ness with a stock lead. Here we go, baby. Going out of the final home stretch here. Oh, push off fair. Oh, fair. Huge. Nice. Dead even at two. Looks like Ness is trying to get something started with those up airs again. Oh, they're so close to getting oh, spiked right. by that down B. <laughs> oh, Just waited. Oh. Ness, what are you doing? Oh, is Ganon going to get on the side plat? If he does, he's getting hit. No, he waits. Oh, he Just waited. Oh, oh, oh. Really, going for style. I think this, this game is way too close to be going for style like that. Oh, that might do it. Oh, Ness, wow. Ness is one stock away from going to the finals. <laughs> See if he can get any damage this time, or if he's just gonna take it out straight off he again. Off that. Oh man, oh, it is last go. stock. Yeah, here we go, last stock. Could be anyone's game. Double up this smash. A lot, of a lot of people have their money here on Ganon, so. so and he just, just rolls out of the way. There's only one sixteenth of the brackets have uh, this one. It's so close. It is so close. One strong hit from either of them could really seal it. Did he jump? He jump, jump, jump. No. Okay. No recovery. Oh, but he'll always get back. He's oh, the hook! The hook! He might still make it. No! Oh, <laughs> it did not be too early. He We're could. Just he didn't drift better. He didn't drift at all either. No, no, it's so just there with that. He really could have just delayed his up B the tiniest bit. Marcus Aurelis bracket is busted. Wow. That was a pretty good edge guard from Gendor. That was great. The, yeah, getting that hook on the up air. That was. Bracket's still alive. We've got. Do you want me to be like this?
Gabriel Rodriguez has uh, or Gabriel Rodriguez has uh, Gannon still winning with Fox Gannon, uh, Gannon finals still alive. We've got uh, Caleb Miles as Gannon still winning, but he's peak in the finals, so obviously he's got a lot of lost points earlier on the rounds. We've got. Man, a lot of people are down for the count. Jaime, Jaime's got a young Liam Gannon. The young Liam being out is going to hurt him on that final four and the final points, but Gannon's still alive in that. Uh, Alex Levi's has Link Gannon, so obviously the Link losing hurts him a little bit. We've got uh, Jared Blanco, Sus Gannon. Catherine Evans has a Fox Gannon finals with Fox winning it. Might and this person also has a perfect final four, so Catherine Evans might be the bracket to win. I mean, they got Mario Radike, they got Link in the final four, uh, they got Ness getting this far, they got Gannon getting this far, they got Fox winning it. That's a bracket that might might take the cake there, yeah. Uh, wow, he Fox winning, but he has his final four is basically thrown out the window, and uh, it's been uh, it's been quite a journey. Uh, before yeah. we be before we get into the finals, though, I do want to make sure we uh, thank some of our our sponsors that contributed prizes uh, to this event. Um, just as a reminder, the third place uh, third place bracket is getting fifty dollars from Bracket Fights. Uh, bracket Fights allows you to easy easily create a tournament bracket for anything. Visit BracketFights.com to fill out brackets for fast food restaurants, best cartoons, or create your own template for anything you want. Uh, it's actually the same team that created Tier Maker, uh, that thing that you see everyone using to make tier lists. And along with the $50, you will get these three Metroid patches from Crit Stitch. Uh, check them out on Etsy. They have a large selection of gaming-related patches. Um, Really, really a nice person to work with. Um, definitely recommend checking them out if you like some patches. And uh, yeah, if you get third place, you get these three Metroid ones. Uh, our second place prize, we have the uh, 3D printed cartridge case from Up Polymers. You can find Up Polymers on um, Etsy for some 3D printed uh, cool stuff. And uh, we have two hundred dollars off anything on the artesian builds website um artesian builds they uh build custom computers and they actually do all the builds on stream on their twitch channel at uh artesian builds pretty cool they have done um anything from your average gaming rig to uh like i've seen thirty thousand dollar like render rigs with you know a million thirty nineties in them um crazy stuff they if you uh you can you can pretty much do anything with them um definitely check them out you can uh if you get second you can get 200 dollars off anything on the website 200 dollars off a computer is pretty nice and if you use um my promo code in chat you can get uh, up to another hundred dollars off so if you're looking for a new pc definitely check out artesianbuilds.com and our grand prize is two hundred dollars cash from our friends at eProfile and Thunder, um, along with a Super sixty four um, HDMI adapter from Eon uh, from our friends at Castlemania Games. Uh, Castlemania Games has tons of cool uh, retro products. Definitely check them out. They have things like this Eon adapter for N sixty four. They have the um, the GameCube HDMI adapters, and they have. Um, other, th other things like uh, the uh, the M Classic, which is a graphics processor, um, it smooths out some jagged pixels and stuff. Great stuff from Castlemania. Um, so that's our first prize. And uh, just an extra shout out for eProfile and Thunder. I wanted to make sure you guys go to eProfile.gg and register an account there so that you can take your cognitive skills test later and see how you stack up um, among your friends. I took one right before this tournament. Let's see if I can pull that up. Do, do, do. We'll see what stats I got right before the tournament. 
There you go. So right for a turn, I took the cognitive test and you can see it breaks down um, based on the test, things like your sustained attention, processing speed and, and all of this. Uh, so you can see some strengths you might have, some weaknesses you might have. Um, it's really cool uh, and pretty fun. So definitely check out uh, eProfile. Uh, go register now. That's actually a very interesting tool. It's really cool. Um, and the tests are, they, you know, there are like some memory tests and reaction time and um, the combination of the two. It, it was it was pretty cool. Uh, definitely go register and uh, take the test once the event is over. Jason, how long was the uh, test overall? Uh, maybe 15 minutes total. Cool. But you want to you wanna make sure you don't have like distractions because it, it does like... If you want decent results, you want to like give it your full attention and everything. Right. Um, and it's funny, like I've definitely noticed. I've taken them. I've taken it a few times, and I have noticed um, a difference from when I take it when I'm I'm really tired or like I haven't eaten or something like that. Because I I was curious. So I wanted to test it out. Um, but like like that one I took before the event, and it was like right after I woke up, and so like my. Um, focused attention stat was like way lower. <laughs> it's like, I just, it was hard for me. No, nah, dude, my numbers aren't that great, Jared. <laughs> Not that great. Uh, very balanced though, very balanced. If I wanted to flex, I would have just screenshotted my best scores. <laughs> <laughs> Get that good RNG with some of the tests, you know? So, so going into the real quick, going to this finals with the Falcon, uh, or, I mean, Gannon, Gannon Fox, We've got seven brackets that actually have these two people in the finals. Uh, not totally surprising, considering two of the top three choices for winning the whole tournament were Gannon and Fox. Uh, Gannon being number one, Fox being the second or the third third most selected choice. So we do have seven brackets left with the champions. Granted, not a lot of them have the same final fours, and not a lot of them have a lot of those earlier moments. So we're going to get some tiebreakers coming down here with like who picks. Luke is over Jigglypuff, or you know, Samus over Dr. Mario. That's going to really be probably some of the tiebreakers on a lot of these guys. Ganon still is the favorite, and Ganon's in the finals. 25% of brackets that I'm winning, 25% of brackets are still alive with Ganon as the champion. So yeah. it's going to come down pretty interesting here. Uh, of the remaining seven, we've got five of the remaining seven with Ganon winning. So if Fox wins this, this championship round, these final two, which is really just uh, Brad from, I think, Australia. Uh, he's got the close to, per he's got Falcon is wrong on his final four, but he's got a Gannon, and he's got a Link, and he's got a Fox. Wait, you, He'll have a you, say, you say Australia? I think it's Australia. It's Brad uh, AUS. So oh, I guess crap. It's, uh, it's Australia. And then Catherine Evans actually has a perfect final four, and they have Fox Gannon with Fox winning, and that might be the best bracket we have. Obviously, the, the couple imperfections they have. They have where uh, Yoshi lost to Kirby, didn't happen. Samus lost to Dr. Mario, didn't happen. Uh, Pika losing to Young Link, didn't happen. But they've got basically everything else right i mean luigi losing the captain falcon they didn't have either but they've got a nest they got a perfect final four they've got a near perfect elite eight and they've got the finals so if fox wins this i think Catherine evans is the champion nice uh before we get into the match though i do have our final uh giveaway and it's my personal uh favorite of all of the um prizes that have been donated and it is this um this wood carving um, Song of Storms from uh, Ocarina of Time. It's a really cool piece. Um, let me... Uh, I want to make sure I say it right. Uh, this prize is donated by Scipion. Scipion Workshop. You, uh, you can find them on... It's not Song of Storms. It's not? I thought it was. No, it's the Sun one. Oh, okay. He, he told me Song of Storms. I've only played the game once, so sorry. <laughs> 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 um, I don't. It, he might have a Song of Storms one, and this is the picture he sent me. Huh. 
I guess we'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, I guess we'll see. You're getting one of them. Once it arrives. Uh, uh, you, can, you can find them um, at, at their Etsy shop where they have a variety of products related to video games and other pop culture that are made using uh, laser engravers and 3D printers. Um, he says, this is laser cut and engraved Baltic Birchwood. So pretty cool. Check out uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash Scipion workshop. Um, I'm going to activate this giveaway. How's about now-ish? So exclamation ticket will enter you for a chance to win this um, this piece. And who knows? Maybe it's Song of Storms. Maybe it's not. It's not. Uh, no, I, I meant I meant I meant the thing you'll. I mean, I was kind of a Zelda nerd as a little kid, but I forget a lot of these things. But if I remember, Song of Storms is A bottom C up C. Yep. Do, 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 do. And yeah. then you just and it starts playing the rest of the song. But uh that's definitely not a song of Yeah, I, I meant the one that you actually get. Yeah, on the picture it's the sun song. Yeah. That so, was one of the things I loved about the Zelda games was they actually like made music. They had like an orchestra come in. Grant a lot of it's MIDI, so they, yeah. they have to reduce it a lot. But uh, they have a like a team come in, and they actually have like a band like figure out. They have like a real musician figure out how to make new novel music for a video game, so children can push three buttons on a controller and then get a whole new <laughs> like on top of music going on. You know? All right, Jared said the sounds coming out of Dave's mouth have not come close to re resembling a song from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally I'm totally yeah. We know. Everyone is. on karaoke me knows I'm totally dead. Dave doesn't have Dave doesn't have an artistic bone in his body. <laughs> Dave's like a human spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm I'm totally tone deaf, but in my head it sounds the same, so I think I'm sounding exactly like it. And I know what I, I know what I'm saying, you just don't know what I'm, you just don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah, no, totally yeah, Narwhal, don't worry. It's it's set so that everybody can only get like the one uh, ticket. So you should be good if it's telling you you already have one. Yeah, just do an incognito browser. You probably get some tickets. So I guess we have to do the finals on phrase stage. All right, let me. Uh, yeah, lagless, lagless finals. It's yeah. uh, it's also night mode. Um, yeah. Yes. You got, I'm going to give you guys a, a few more seconds to enter the giveaway. We've got 25 people in on this piece. And then we'll close it. Nice. <laughs> we'll see if Frey wins another one. <laughs> Wait, is he allowed to enter? Yeah, you can enter. God yeah. damn it, Dave. I entered and I won. <laughs> you should enter too. <laughs> Exclamation point ticket. You're gonna make Look at all these people entering. They're trying to prevent me from winning again. Look at all. We're all entering. Happen. I'm winning this. Wow, we just <laughs> had a bunch of people enter all at once. <laughs> I'm winning this easy. Your 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 four your four percent chance just uh, really dropped a lot. We had like six new people enter. Yeah, everyone finished logging in on their alt accounts. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm gonna close it now. Thank you, everyone, for participating, and let's yeah. see who wins. Yeah, you, might win the, you might win the giveaway if your bracket is failed because you had Mario and Ness in the finals. And both yeah, around. I know. Wow, Ness almost made it. Joe Koopa just got in there. Ness did well. All right, draw yeah. a winner. Let's see who it is. Meta Humanoid. That's uh, isn't that protagonist? It's someone I know. Or is it dad? I don't. It's one of the. It two. might be dad. It's either protagonist or dad. That's dad. Oh, wow. dad. That's dad. Okay. Going to that same family. Yo, congrats, dude! Congratulations to dad. Uh, just make sure you DM me on like Twitter or Discord or something uh, so I can get um, your information to uh, the seller, and they'll get this shipped out to you. Congratulations, man! Congratulations. Now you don't have now you don't have to ship to Australia. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I don't have to ship to Australia. And I'm a little biased, but I'm glad it's, you know, going to someone I know. 
Jason, how large is it? Like, what's the... I don't have the dimensions on it. You might be able to see if you go to the, the Etsy shop. But I can't imagine it's it's bigger than much bigger than like a sheet of paper. True. Maybe though. Maybe I don't know. Bottom line is I have no idea. Looks like like it could be the size of a phone. Oh yeah, it could be. It could be true. It's it's very hard. There's no 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 banana for scale. You always need a banana for scale. It it helps, I and mean, you have to you have to be realistic about these things. <laughs> All right, I think everything is ready to go. We have Fox versus Ganondorf in the finals. It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. The I proud defender of Vanilla Smash. No one voted Ganondorf. for Fox. The is that CPU you gun. Is a remix character versus a vanilla character. I actually like that enemy. You know, this really is the test of who's the best remix character versus who's the best vanilla character. Damn, the remix characters have high def icons. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> that's what's out there. <laughs> Smash Ultimate. Okay, yeah. Well. yeah, I guess uh, Shalaka. Shilak so for those of you that don't know, uh, Shalaka and Kurja, the uh, Chilean players, um, they're the ones like heavily involved with with Thunder and E Profile. Um, they've done a ton of work uh, for these platforms. And yeah, Shalaka probably just went and grabbed whatever stock icons were already out there. Um, Maybe uh, for a future event, we'll get the remix stock icons for uh, the remix characters. But let's get going here. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. I didn't oh, save it. it. I didn't save <laughs> it. Oh, uh, Nate. I oh, it's spoilers. I didn't Nate. save it. Besides, in the Western bracket. Hey, there we go. I didn't hit save on Skynet. <laughs> That was supposed to be my big plot twist. <laughs> yeah, it's the fray plot twist. Oh, this stage just gives me all the time. It was all the time. It was all the time. Starts off with uh, Gangan, some of them is there, but then Fox bring it back a little bit. Obviously, Gannon cracking up, racking up some damage here. Fox kind of stuck in an up B mode, not really doing a lot. Why is he up being like, but not even trying to hit him with it? I don't know, it's the CPU. What's he's <laughs> He's trying to build up enough damage to start doing his up airs. He, he did it because he's trying to go for it. He's not gonna, like fake out the opponent, you know? Oh, like change up his uh, his, like ball speed. Yeah. Still Fox CPU up being is smarter than the average human, so. He knows something. Oh, push push off. Back <laughs> That's really good. Come on, Fox. We know Fox. you're better than this, Fox. Oh, Oh, fuck, stop up being. Ganon's just such a bully. He's just so overwhelming. Ooh. He's the king of evil. He is. <laughs> oh. No, he, he's actually the king of the Gerudus. Um, it just turns out that he's evil. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one male in every hundred years is born to be a Gerudo male or whatever. I know, I know Wookiee's, in, little... Wookiee's in here cheering for Fox. Oh, it's oh, not looking yeah. good, though! Oh, Warlock punch to the face. It is not I'm looking good. Out. What percentage do you think he kills Fox with the Warlock punch on? Probably 70? Pro no. Oh, pro oh, 30. Probably, yeah, I was going to say like 25, 30. Yeah, that move is really powerful. But, I mean, five, he's only he's only down by one. This is very doable. But one, uh, one advantage... A, a big advantage you know Ganondorf he, has is we haven't seen Ganon SD. It gives him enough time. Yeah. To a but uh, at the same point, being on one this early in the game means that, like, the CPU collaboration, or whatever you want to call it, the composite of these two CPUs together is resulting in Ganon just beating No! Oh, no. Fox! No! Oh, no! stock <laughs> there. I don't know oh. if Fox and Zach is. Like if he couldn't succeed in the first few rounds, his his AI isn't changing. He's what? So close. The cause of his of his deficit is going to continue. This is just brutal. Come on, Fox. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Or oh yeah, never give up. He's basically down at full stock. Never surrender is a uh, galaxy galaxy quest. <laughs> 
Knock it off, Fox. Oh, that up tilt. Ooh, that was a little, little mix-up right there. With the, uh... Oh, he just dodged the fork. Falling up. I love actually how the CPUs keep falling up there. Like, regular humans don't do that as much as CPUs do. They're hard. I know. <laughs> Difficult. And yes, for those of you wondering, uh, Ganon F tilt does uh, dodge Fox laser at certain points. And that happened. Oh, oh the big fist. Fox needs to make some big adjustments here. We haven't seen him get a, a lot of these like longer up air strings because it, it, they get stopped by things like Warlock Punch down Armor. B. And Down B, yeah. Nice defensive laser. Upper kills. So, Fox got all upper kills this whole game. He keeps getting Ganon a high percent, gets the upper kill. If he wants to come back, he has to kill him without an up air, and he has to kill him at an earlier percentage. A four smash, a down smash. We've seen him get a few up smash kills across these sets. Uh, who, Ganon? Yeah. No, uh, Fox. Oh, yeah. Like against Pikachu, he had two of them. No, he just oh, jumped oh into it! He jumped yeah, right into like it. Pretty much over. Uh, Yandor really wants the gold. For it, uh, up to a forward smash, gets him off stage. Falling up air! Let's go, Fox! Nothing, no follow up. He's got the grab. Fox doing a clean stop no. here. If he gets this, oh! Dodge oh, oh, dodges no. dodge the kick off, but he gets caught smash. in the up air! Oh, he just stands there. No fear. Whew! <laughs> Fox just needs Ooh, to I, I would usually shield the Oh, roll. there's an up smash. Yeah. Oh, All right. I mean, he's Fox still... Despite how hard Fox is trying to throw this, he's still he's only down one. one. Yeah, after that SD, too. Oh, no. Oh, he's on the board smash. No. Was it a tipper? He's going to live. No edgeguard attempt at all. No, they, they, they don't do that. <laughs> Oh, okay. Lucky there that Fox uh, got hit by the sour spot. What are you doing, Fox? Good thing he's got him stuck in a down B loop. Otherwise, Fox probably get punished with up air. Shield him. pressure. Uh, Should have just kept lasery. Up air. Up air. No, what are you doing? Oh, no. Keeps it going with the up Oh, no. no. Fox. 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 Damn, that's a serious lead. He would need to get a stock and have like a quick SD. The falling up here does not do it because it's stale. That might have killed uh, on a fresh. fresh up there. Oh, the big down smash. Yeah, the Ganon's down smash just catch Fox quite a bit. Still doesn't kill with that up there. One more. Yeah, I don't know. Freshes it up a little bit uh, by one degree. Oh no. Oh, he just grabbed oh, him. Alright, y'all need to calm down. What's gonna happen? Let's go. Uh, this is looking pretty rough. <laughs> I've not seen a lot of hope here. Oh, that's it? Oh no. Let's uh, take one more. Oh, and that's uh, it. That's it. So Ganon wins. 25% of brackets had Ganon winning. So that's not cool. Nobody cares. It's not cool again. won. Uh, <laughs> of, of the favorites, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel Rodriguez had Ganon. We have Poke Hero had Ganon Fox with Ganon winning. But his final four is, you know, the Falcon PK. So he might finish in a top three position, but definitely not a winner. Uh, and then Ty Kai had a perfect final four with Ganon winning. Likely one of our bracket favorites. Tim or Gabriel Rodriguez. Gabriel Rodriguez had a pretty good bracket run. We're going to have to calculate the tiebreakers here, but. Look at the one Ty Kai might be the winner. Uh, so close there. That's Ganondorf. That was like the closest set. Yeah, that was like, oh, that was so yeah. close. It was like the only last stock last hit. Mm, no, wait, there was like a Link 
against Fox, I guess, was like that. Three against Fox was, it came down to literally the last day. It was a one stop game. Yeah. And, and if Link won that, that would have broke a lot of brackets. I mean, they would have given us the Zelda Grand Finals. I oh, know. Dude, Gan uh, Ganon just looked unstoppable. I'm going to head off anyway. It was, uh, it gonna hang around, All right. Thanks for joining us, Frey. Yeah, congratulations to Ganondorf for taking the bracket. Yeah, until next year. All right, see you. All right, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was that was a lot of fun though. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, I was contemplating uh, whether or not I should just start playing NFL Blitz after this, but I think I'm gonna go eat some food. <laughs> But uh, yeah, congratulations to everybody that Play won things. Uh, if you won something, make sure you message me so I know you won, so I can you know like give you the thing that you won. And um, congratulations to whoever ends up winning the uh, top three uh, prizes. Um, well, we'll reach out to you in the next day or two about that once we have that narrowed down. And uh, yeah, giveaways, make sure you message me. Because if you don't, then you don't get anything. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And my bracket got destroyed from round one. Oh, no, the stadium's <laughs> awesome. I mean, look at the crowds. Beautiful no. arena. I actually don't remember. No, it's nice to be back in a crowd. Yeah. No masks, people just spitting in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what my bracket looked like. Actually, let's pull it up. I found it. Oh, damn it. That's my wrestling bracket. All right. I don't know where it is. I think I only got right. Uh, I don't winning. And... All right. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to sign off here. Thanks, guys, for uh, joining me. Appreciate it. Um, I'm sure, we'll uh, do something again in the near future. Uh, Jimmy Joe and Dave, go get some sleep. I already got, we already got some sleep. That's oh, yeah, true. true. That was the uh, first two thirds of the event. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Um, and thank you, Jaime, sure. for joining me. Sure. I wish I didn't have to work today. Yeah, that was a bummer. Early. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't forget, uh, tomorrow is a Smash Remix tournament. It is the uh, Remix Civil War 2. Um, Josh, if you want to post that link in chat, you can do that. Probably something like challenge.com slash Civil War 2. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm going to send you over to a friend of mine. He's playing some Warzone. Um... Challenge. It's challenge, not challenge. Leviosa. All right, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm going to sign off now. Have a good day. Uh, I'll have this up on YouTube whenever I feel like it. But uh, peace out. Go sign up for Josh's tournament. Congratulations to all of the winners and to our champion, Ganondorf.